everyone doing? My name is Joel. You're tuned in to live from the pandemic cave. Live and direct from Chicagoland, Illinois. Your host, Joel, and of course we have the master chunk. The master chunk is in the house. My lord. Spring fever is hit. It's got, it's got him spicy. I gotta cut him off. I gotta cut off champ. Gotta cut him off. Cut off champ. So how everybody doing? Go to star. Yes, now champ. Now. now. Oh my god. Gotta keep wrestling the champ. Ow! One month, 28 months, Dave Blister. My oh, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for the subscription, man. Spicy champ. It's time for some good faces. You ain't kidding me. I got a little something I've been working on. It's gonna be small. It's gonna be small here. And I wanted to, I wanted to quickly, come on, would you just please sit down now? Now he's like, always like, I need to get on the panel. I need to get in front of him. I, I have to kick him out, I'm getting him. Getting, now he's down here. Spicy chunk. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, Dave Lister. I got a little something for everybody. For all the people that are always like in the channel and stuff, I've been working on something kind of new. I know it's kind of ridiculous. It's not done, but I'll, I'll see what you folks think. Uh, I think it's... did. Oh, I put it here. Okay, all right. Let's see what you guys think about this. So there you go. It's it's not done. It's it's not done at all. <laughs> it's not done. Hugh Mungus thanks to an old friend by the name of Rule of Thirds who uh, assembled that. And that was done for um that was done on uh, uh to, to be played back on Genesis hardware, which is really cool. So it's made to be played on a, a Yamaha. How's that not done? It's great. It's it's not done. No, it's not. I don't. There, there's supposed to be some more in there. I was gonna like spice in some clips, um, some details, you know, cabinets, stuff like that. So we're not completely done. Uh, does not need any improvement. <laughs> Thank you. I figured what the hell it'd be a nice little treat for today. Um, after this like last couple of weeks, it's just been bonkers. <sighs> bonkers. Try, still trying to get sleep. I still got spicy chunk. Can you please spicy chunk? You can put the spice away. Look at this. He's like, how, how can I, how can I bother you more? How, how can I get closer? He wants to get closer to me. He just wants to get closer. He just, he just needs, 
He needs a good old chunk hug. Oh my God, don't be running chunk. You need a chunk hug. You need all the chunk hugs. He's really happy to be here. So I really want to say thank you, man. Uh, he wants thumbs to play, no doubt. Yeah, Jerry Chick Tan I could get you some files if you want, man. Um, let me know. I could put some of my old mixes online. He's all hopped up on catnip bananas. Yeah, and he's got his Darius fish. You can see he's got his little fish. And he's got his bananas. His catnip, catnip banana. He's just insane about that. Let me tell you. About Space Bomber, try to run it on main, but none of the, none of the, but the ROM file was mis missing. It sounds like you need to get yourself some ROM files. You're always having issues with your main. Ah, uh, just landed in, just landed into the middle of the grooviest song ever. Yes, Geriatric Jam Maku, good evening. I need to say good evening to everybody in the in the chat. Chater Shack. Uh, oh my God. It's the BX Benny. Benny, Benny, yeah. Thank you, dude. 19 months. That's 19. That's an insane amount of time. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Hopefully, you're doing all right tonight. And uh, hopefully, that MS8 monitor is still treating you well. You know what I mean? So, I want to say hi to everybody in the chat room. We just said hi to PX ben BX Benny. Hater Shack, past blaster. Glad you got that hard drive. Dave Lister, the geriatric DM Yaku. Mighty Squirrel, the Divine Kelly. How you doing, my love? Guru Game Boy. We've got Mighty Squirrel, PM Collector Boy. Of course, the Mighty Dave Lister. Uh, VJ Adam Black. What's up, man? OB1. What's happening? Gabe 2005 plus plus. What's happening, everybody? All right. So, what's happening today? Well, I was going to do uh, the CPS1 uh, horizontal games, but. Uh, My fucking blast. My blast city has an issue with the JVS. And I'm like, just god damn it. The um my Jamifier. You know the Jamifier I just installed? It's stuck on a button. And it's digitally stuck on a button. And I'm like, God damn and it happens to be button one on both players. So I realized this this weekend, out of nowhere, everything is working. I've been tearing this cabinet apart. It's time. I hate to say it, but I think. I think the summer project of yanking out the Blast City for, like, serious overhaul from, like, cabling. I know I've been talking about it. I talked about it last Sunday. I think it's official. I need to yank this thing out. So, like, after Memorial Day, after the birthday, this thing's getting, I mean, and also I got, once Kelly's moving in and stuff, once, once all that settles down, we got to overhaul the shit out of this cab. I need to go through, I have all replacement cabling. I think it's just time. You know, you put, like, three, four years into, like, using the same cabinet. Stuff's eventually going to start getting real wonky. So I'm, I'm getting a little suspect. Something's off in that cabinet. Um, give it new veins. That's the plan. That's the plan. Did you miss the Mexican pizza? What about the Mexican pizza? Oh, man. Be Benny's saying the MS-8 is running Mr. Kid beautifully. Nice. So um, I do have a new I.O. coming. I already talked to Invader Zim, the guy that makes it, the Jamifier. Good device. I, I ran one for, what, almost four years, perfectly fine, three years. Um, nice device, but like the, the newest one I got from him, he was, I'm still up in the air exactly what's going on with the thing because nothing makes sense, you know? Um, and that's why I just been like ripping hair out, not to mention everything else going on. Oh my God. Just been nuts fighting, fighting all of this nose thing, trying to get past it. So first game on the docket, let's get down to business. We got pigs. The pig. I'm going to play some space bomber just in time. For old Pass Blaster to get in here. I know this is his favorite game. He's been collecting. He's been collecting uh, all the parts to make a whole space bomber. And congrats on finding that Sikyo box. I know I had an opportunity to get one at a time, and it just fell through. Sex scandal shmups are the best. We got some cool shmups today. Uh, so we're going to be going on the vertical cabinet this week. Um, I should have it repaired by this. I should have the blast repaired by... Friday, which is good, so I got all the parts I need. Um, I'm just one part away. So it's, of course, that one part away that keeps you away from uh, from doing all the fun things. Got some new games today. Got some new games in for my birthday that's coming up. That's right, birthday's June 2nd. There's going to be a birthday stream June 2nd. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have uh, potentially a Guru Game Boy stream. I don't know. You might make a sighting. 
That might be kind of fun. Um, got some cool games today. You know what? I, we'll go over them later. Um, we'll go over each, each board later. I just need to get down to business, man. I need to shut up and play some Space Bomber. But we got the third of the series. The third of the series to complete my trifecta. And that is, uh, we have Skullfang tonight. We have some Namco System 2 stuff. Um, and then uh, something else kind of special. So hang tight. It's going to be a fun night of, of interesting games that I have never really given time to play. Uh, outside of maybe Skullfang, I played a lot of that on maybe Sega Saturn back in the day. But the arcade, ga the arcade version is a little bit different, so I'm pretty excited to play that one. Um, yeah, you can't wait to play it to get that Street Fighter 2. You're, you're buying it Street Fighter 2 Pushenko? That's nice. Guru still planning on heading my way. Hell yeah. Well, then that's going to happen. That's cool. Get to go to, uh, see if we can get you around. At minimum, we go to Galloping Ghost, for sure. We'll see We'll see how how the day plays out to get to Prince Arcades, because that's kind of in the opposite direction. But there's only so much, you know. There's only so much you could see all at once. So I figured I would try, I'd pretty much work on some cute em ups today. You know, kind of mixing some similar titles to what we were going to be playing tonight. And uh, first and foremost, of course, we have Space Bomber, which is a very, kind of a, kind of a unique title by Sikio. If you've never played this one, you should. Um, this is another one of those weird, only released in home. I had to bring this down here. Oh my god. Let's get some of that clipping out of the way. Some of these, some of these Sikio games are just, they sound like garbage. Wait, how do I use the, how do I use the, is it button three? Or is it the start button? I know it's one of the ones where I use the, the enemies. Wait, is it? Okay, that shifts them. Oh, I hold the button down. That's right. I hold them down. And I send the frogs in. This <laughs> weird-ass game. I always have to re-remember the, 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 the mechanisms for this title, because it's very unique, really weird. You can use the enemies. Ah! That sucked. I forgot about that. Uh, you can use the enemies against against other enemies. Ow. And I'm not... I need to get my bearings straight. Charge him up. There we go. Transor head. Yeah, the blast thing was so weird. I had my friend, I, like, everything was working fine with the CPS-1 this weekend. And I was just, you know, messing around with that and testing it and all that stuff. Used it. I used it almost all day Sunday. Uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, all day Saturday. Then um, my friend's kids came over. So not the kids broke it. I doubt they did. But I need to investigate it further. Like, it, the funny thing is, the last time the kids are open, I, the, the last time the kids are over, I also had a, the, the blast also broke down again, and I was like, hmm, I'm not gonna blame it on the kids, but uh, who knows? Could be a number of things. It's like everything works though, like the, the getting good power, good cabling, good connectivity. Like, oh Jesus! The pig just snorted. Holy God. Let's forget about that pig. I need this. Yeah. That pig. Yeah, I did try to reflash the firmware. I did try that. I, I was talking to Zim about that. I gave that a shot. Um, it's weird because it shows it like, you know, I took the IO, I swapped the IO, I swapped the JAMA cable, I swapped everything. I checked the power six times over. Uh, you know, I know it's running good. Everything is running good, but it's it's like there's a logic 
It was like a logic lockup. So I'm gonna actually ship it back to I'm gonna ship it back to Oslo. Let's <laughs> see what happens. Let's see what he says. That's what I get for having a JVS cab, you know? It's like so much extra complexity, but what am I gonna do? Ah! Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna restart because I'm feeling I'm now that I got the mechanisms in this game going, I can get a flow, you know. What in the name of uh, sanity is this? This is called Space Bomber Version B. It's a goofy game. We got some goofy games tonight. We got some goofy and really cool games. Um, so, how this game works is you got these aliens, and they come down, and it's kind of like Galaga a little bit, where, like, you got, you know, you're trying to help, you're, you're trying to kill the aliens, get them, get them out of the way. But also, like, you have the capability to steal them. And you can store up to three of them. And each of the enemies has different, like, different properties. So, like, some of them will, will be, like, a shield. Others will be, like, a, a straight-up laser. Look at that. Get wrecked. That's how you use the enemies. You know, you can use them against bosses and stuff like that. Let's have a, so we have a Namco System 2 game today, which I'm, I didn't say the, the, the title of, but it is Cosmo Gang. If you've never seen Cosmo Gang before, check it out. I think you're going to like it. It's very pleasant. Uh, it's basically, it's like a, think of Space Bomber and make it, and, and add Galaga to it. And the, it, like Galaga 88, it's awesome. There's voices, there's like, there's cool like little boss levels. All right, now I need to watch out for the, for that scumbag uh, laser, he's gonna. There we go, so let, let that little ship do its business. But yeah, um, Cosmo Gang's going to be really cool. Um, I've been kind of messing around with that game quite a bit. Um, I'll explain why I picked up that board. There is a reason, and it's a good reason. It's a very, very, very good reason. Ah! Jeez. You're moving so fast. Once again, that was failed. Oh my god. You're supposed to like drop them off right there and you get like maximum maximum cash. Look at that. That's nice. Look at these little safari guys. No, go to star. What's up, Coleco? What's happening? Get out of here, pig! gonna sneeze on me. That's what I'm worried about. Ah, there it goes. Oh, that's been me for the last two, like two weeks. It's just, my nose is just, I feel like a pig too. Get past this, this nasal surgery thing. It's, it's getting better. Still, still trying to get sleep. We're getting there. Oh my, god. oh my god, so much. So many bullets. Oh my god. Piggy snorts will get you. Yeah, they will. What's up, Venom Lace? What's going on? Glad to have you, happy. Ow! That one busted right on through. See, I have those those armadillas. And they're helpful because they leave shields. 
but I guess okay, so they're not they're not laser proof, that's for sure. You can kinda chew so they'll they'll chew up little bullets, I get it. Nose is acting up. You can't catch a cold. Yeah, me too. I feel you. Nobody wants to catch a cold right now. But it's going around. You know, it's like this weather is just not. You know, it's freaking 60 degrees. It was it was 40 last night. It's freaking freezing. It was really cold last night. It's like almost June. We're getting that second kind of weird spring going on right now. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days, too. Oh, the king, guys. Oh, I needed that. Oh, no. Hang on. Let's steal you. Steal you. Steal you. We're going to need those for the boss. Let's crank this up. attention to like grabbing them. unique arcade games out there for sure if you've never played it do it this is one of those it, it's funny because I remember the first time I played it I was like eh, eh, I don't know you know and I played it very briefly and then I watched past blaster play it and he was having so much fun and he explained the game and I was like, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. And it becomes like, it becomes just goofy fun. Plus it's, you know, it's your typical Sikyo game where you got those football shaped bullets. Oh my God. Woo I forgot about those. Spending too much time trying to get those like you look like you look like disco turds. I don't know. Oh. And they don't do anything, they just kinda spin there. Ow! Bum. Oh, I'm sorry, PM Collector Boy. Yeah, Jackie Wax got that right. My bad, it's power instinct. You don't get about the weird smelly face aliens trying to black out the world president. Yeah, it's so strange. It doesn't make sense. It'll never make sense. But in a in a fun Japanese way, that's you know that's where the rubber meets the road with this game. It's uh. <laughs> that's what I think makes it unique and fun. It's just the oddities. What? Like those are the aliens? I love those guys. A little Muppet mouth. Like what the hell is this? No! I feel like every time I put like an enemy in front of in front of a boss, it gets like just chewed up. Whoa! That cat didn't deserve that. You almost just gotta keep, you know, working the sh working the shmup with the enemy. Come here, Dow. Whoa! 
Yeah, keep putting the frogs out there. Whoa! Yeah, and this game also doesn't come out, like, come around too often. And when you do see it, it's it's not that expensive either, which is thankfully good. But if you collect PCBs, it's definitely a fun one. Ah, I, hey, look, I got that power up. This time we're just gonna shmup it out. Oh shit. See, they give me the good enemies that like use fire. But once again, they're just gonna get taken. Oh god. And it's a monkey! What is this? <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Oh my god. Piss off, monkey. Sticky created monkey pox confirmed. Better a disco turd than an amber turd. I can agree with that one. Isn't disco turd where you, where you go after eating too many disco fries? That is a good question. I don't know. Dis disco turd. It's a little, little unique. Oh my god. Oh, that was nice. You see that? Get those. Oh, what the? Roman soldier dudes. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, we'll just put one of those out there. This, like, background thing going on? We're over, like, a... a, a... We're, we're over, like, a hurricane? Like, okay. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. Ow! They ran me. Scumbags. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They freaking chase you! Come on! It's hot garbage. You never had disco fries, you've had chili fries, pretty good DC chili place. You know, DC seems like a chili place. You know, like a we got cold weather. It makes sense. I think the wet like the East Coast is kinda like chilly. Good good areas to grow chili. Yap, 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 yap. What he was saying? Oh, it's like my ship. So I'm battling like my ship now. Like what? Oh my god! Surprise! It's it's just <laughs> surprise. Oh my god, the bullets are so fast! So fast! Ugh. With the football bullets too, like... My god! These patterns, now! You have no escape! Ugh. And then you got like the president. And he's like saying something. Pass Buster guy's the one that's in English. Uh, and it's. It doesn't matter. Like, you're not gonna learn anything. Uh, <laughs> the game is horrible English. It's really bad. 
Like, none of it makes sense. These guys are getting rougher and rougher. Ah! It's the king! Ah! <laughs> There's something about the music, too, that's just kind of fun. Ah! Paying attention to those boomerangs. Oh. oh, ugly. Very indicative of Sikia's hardware, you know. That synthy. There's a lot of. Okay, we got armadillos. Oh my god! <laughs> Talk about not ready to play this one today. New bullet styles. I can't even. I'm sucking so bad at this. Ah. Oh, that, that that breaks his donut bullets. Ow. Joystick top her head just came down. Oh, it's a garbage can! It's garbage can! Oh god. Damn it! Ah! Holy ah! Ah! No! There's so many patterns! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy god! Where do these patterns come from? The first boss wasn't this bad. Oh shit! Oh man! Oh! That's brutal! Oh Jesus! It's this guy! Ah, you can't do anything! Get, get out of here with this! Get out of here with this! This is rough. Yeah, I'm not ready to play this one today. <laughs> I'm not. There's like no bombs, there's like nothing to save me. And then you boot him into earth and he blows up. I don't understand this game. I don't understand it. It's a unique one for sure. And then this face palace comes by, it's like burning. I mean, if if you wanted the aliens off of Earth, why did you boot them into Earth? I don't understand that. It's a unique title. <laughs> Send him to hell. And this is like supposedly the, like the president. And there we are. Space bomber. Didn't expect. I didn't expect I would be playing this one today. I was just kind of looking at, like, what what can I fill in the day with? Um, I figure what the hell like because when we play Cosmo Gang later um in fact I might, might as well just do Cosmo Gang right after this and you'll get the idea like when you play Co when you see Cosmo Gang you'll be like wow this is kind of a similar game with exception of the grabbing mechanism um yeah and what does the keyword mean I'm assuming this is probably for like scoring or maybe maybe like oh wait no there's supposed to be a BIOS thing isn't there and then, like you put um don't you put your name in it, and then it, like, unlocks stuff? I think that's what that does. 
doesn't have ass protection. What do you know? It is kind of one of the one of the more interesting arcade games of all time. Chili's good on a damn cold day. I I can agree with that. All right, I think we're done with Space Bomber for now. That <laughs> that was fun for what it was. Ah, uh, okay. So now let's let's get started. Let's move on to Cosmo Gang. Uh, let's see. When did Cosmo Gang come out? It was Cosmo Gang Namco. I think it was 1992. So we're about to make a trip to 1992. Cosmo Gang. 1992. Okay. Let's get the board. Let's get the board. So hopefully everybody's having fun today. I'm uh I'm still just recovering. I'm still like in a haze. I just feel like I'm in a haze. <laughs> I'm getting there though. Like, I'm getting there. So we're just messing around. There we go. Boop boof. This is a Sikio Space Bomber. There you go. Very, very nice board. I have probably one of the better specimens. I mean, this thing is pristine, clean. Um, you can tell it really wasn't used much, and it, it's kind of sad because it's such a great game, too. It's not a big board. You know, it's about one and a half Polish heads big. It's not a big board. It's not a big board. Uh, do I know about Dranius? No, I don't. By the way, if you're wondering what the uh, Monday Mystery Game was, it was Beast Busters, number 875 in the arcade floor. No shit. Yours came from a European dust farm? Yeah, this thing is like, this came from a personal collection. And you can see, like, from day Z, like, it's just, it's perfect. Now, mind you, I do have games, like, if we're about to see this one, it's uh, this Namco system, too. I got to take her out to the shed. I got to take her out to the shed. She needs to clean it. And I need to turn this fan off because now it's starting to get the temperatures are dropping off. But so welcome everybody. My name is Joel. We are playing some games today. Hi, you're tuned in live and direct from the pandemic, Chicago Land, Illinois, with your host me. Oh God, <laughs> with your host me. And of course, the master chunk. Chunk. We have an Amco System 2 in the house. Two board stack. Bam. Big bad. These are interesting. It's a two board piece like this. Um, there's ROMs and processing power on one side, usually called the video board. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of ROMs on the opposite side. So it's like, it's a very busy board set. Um, now, why did I get this? I already have a Namco system too. Um, this is going to be my donor board. My goal, hopefully. Um, hopefully by, G by July or end of June, if I can get all the parts, this will be when it's done, a Rolling Thunder 2. I've been reading a lot of information and talking to people overseas about doing conversions on these Namco System 2s, and if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it to a Cosmo Gang. And also, it supposedly sets it up for uh, potential other games that I can play. Uh, Ordine, um, there's another really awesome one where you're like on a bike, and it's like a, it's kind of like a Space Harrier style where it's like first person. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, it's a Namco game and it's super duper rad. Um, but there's a lot of great Namco System 2, two games. One of which, though, this game took me by surprise. Because first off, I'm looking, you know, when you look at a list for like a good donor board, you look at usually for the cheapest game, that's like the one that nobody's going to miss, right? Because then you'll convert the game that nobody's going to miss to something really good. Um, when I started playing Cosmo Gang, I kind of fell in love. I, I don't know. I get a lot of Galaga vibes. I get fun Galaga vibes with this. Um, the voice samples, uh, the little the little breaks in between each level. Um. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Two years. Two years. Two years. 
Wow, 24 months with the Death Dread, my man. Nin we, we, 19, what is this? is insanity. Dave List, 28. BX Benny with 19 months. Death Dread with a whole two years. We got two people resubscribing in the two-year club. My heart. My heart. I love you guys and gals, really. So here we are, Namco System 2. This is a unique and fun and uh, interesting title. And it's got stereo. Like, it's got, like, look at this. It's got a uh, it's got a little EQ on it for uh, bass and treble and balance. I, I'm finding these boards very fascinating. So let's wire her up. You can check out Cosmo Gang. Last time I was playing Cosmo Gang, which was just a little bit yesterday, I fired it up, and uh, let's see here. It's also very fickle, too. This board in particular is a bit, bit busy, baby. This is the first time I, I wired the capture up to it, so I might need to juice the voltage. They're hungry. I'm realizing they're very hungry boards. Yo! Mr. Wolverine, thank you so much. Appreciate the 10 bits, my friend. So I'm just going to quickly make sure that we got all this working. Because it is... Uh, I'm going to have to probably crank the voltage just a hair. Hold tight. Boop, 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 boop. I just had it. Of course, it was like working fine yesterday. And now it's not. The minute I use it on stream. <laughs> Go figure. Let's wire this one more time. And we're going to try and see. There she goes. It's a really weird fickle board. I've had, you know, I have to clean it. I have to put capacitors on it. I have to give it some love and care, you know. These uh, these Namco System 2 boards, System 1 boards, you're talking about, you know, 90s. And this is when Namco was starting to really put customs and goofy stuff on them. So, you know, I got some solder joints I'm sure I'm going to have to I'll discover and things like that I'll have to fix. So, but it does work. It does work. I played quite a few games of this and I was just having such a good time. All right, let's make sure that we can see the game. Test it. Excuse me, my nose is running. Oh. Hey, filthy. What's going on, my man? Lurking Tom Barry. Dude, Jeff, Death Dread, that's crazy, man. Freaking two years. Two years. I appreciate you, dude. Let's feed the chunk while we're at it before we get started. And then we got those bits in the house. What's going on, filthy? I haven't seen you in a while. I was, uh... Gonna see what uh, you're up to on Friday, man. We might be doing, uh, we might do a card game or something Friday. I was thinking, so I don't know. You play Cosmo game lot, lots of fun. I think we need to do this. We got, uh, we got, we got some bits here. We got some bits. I think we can, I think we can give a little bit of, little, little, little bit of feed the chunk. We'll feed the master chunk. You guys have been great. Here we go. Here's some bits for you. Right by your butt. No, don't step on your bits. There you go. Good boy. And the board lives, yes. Filthy says, it's like when you get something worth it working and then you show your boss and everything stops working. Streaming with new gear, same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the goofiest thing I've had with this. Like, it's not the first time. Because when, when I was messing with this on the other cabinet, um, it was doing really well. Like when I first when I first got the board, excuse me, I know this is gross. Like my nose is leaking again. <laughs> That's all it's gonna be doing. So when I first got the board, and I usually test it on my Astro 2 behind me. You know, it's a it's a great cabinet to test everything on. It just you know it's it's not connected up to anything. You know, just plug it in, test it. Um, and it was being fickle there, and I had a couple freezing up issues. And then I realized like no, the board's just really power hungry. Um, so I had to make a little bit of a juicing and adjustment, but I did have it working yesterday. I just, uh, 
goes to go go figure. But yeah, you're totally right. It's like when you go to show the boss something, like, hey, look what I did, and all of a sudden it's like, no, it's not working for you. It's perfect, perfect timing. Okay, so we got the Cosmo gang in the house. Cosmo gang. What is this? It's don't 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 let this little cutesy game cutesy game skate you like you know turn you away. This game's got some teeth. It's fun though. It's fun teeth. Friday's open. Uh, would be good to hang the girls in California. Uh oh, damn. Okay. Hey Phil, test uh text me cuz uh I think I'm going to have a I think we're going to have we're going to have the, cr the 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 small amount of crew and people over and uh, we're looking for maybe a couple extra people, so uh, and it's kind of off the cuff. The whole thing's been off the cuff. Um, I'll ping you when I'm when I'm done tonight. All right. All right. We'll move on. Let's go. Cosmo Gang the video, not just regular Cosmo Gang. Cosmo Gang the video, not video game. Just Cosmo Gang. <laughs> what are you gonna do about that? Ah, uh, single fill. You don't say. Oh, you never played the Super Nintendo version? Never? You should. You should. Get Swifty, Michael. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I see you there, Kelly. I see, I see, I see, I see what you're doing there. Oh, let me turn this volume down. Make sure we don't get any cracking. There we go. That's nice. That's much better. Okay. So... This is just like Galaga slash Space Invaders, but it's a, it's way more um, it's way more charismatic, I guess. Let's take a look and judge for yourself. So you got the Cosmo gangs, right? They're they're trying to shoot at you. You get like power up opportunities and like cool little extra weapons and stuff like that. And there's like there's like uh, multipliers for each time you kill an enemy, and, in, and then those multipliers add up to the score, which is cool. So you can like chain uh, chain chain multipliers and things. I, I kind of find cool. Uh, good scoring game. Really good scoring game. Ah. I give up. I give up. Sitting in a hot tub and watching a stream. Hell yeah. Get hmm. comfy. Yeah, you get weird like power-ups like that. Like shocks the stream. <laughs> okay, you guys. Steal energy. Steal the energy. So now you gotta like stop these guys from getting your stuff. Cool bonus stage. All right. Yeah, it's very fun carnival schmuck. Twitch is going nuts for you again. Have a good night. All right, Mr. Wolverine, yeah, you take it easy. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Not bad. 50,000. And the music's great, too. There's, like, scaling. There's rotation. Um, just a unique, fun little game. So, like I said, ow! Damn it! Now it's starting to show its teeth there. Oh, what's happening? It's like, what's happening? Don't, don't freeze up on me now. All right, you see that guy up there with the car? If we hit him, oh, no. then you gotta hit him again. You give, you give him a chance to. Uh, ooh. He'll he'll give you a chance and then he'll run away with your power up, so you can get the power up from him. I love these guys. Yeah. Yeah, and you got, you got the, the spider web. Kind of keeps them locked down in place. Ah! Now 
All right. Now, you start to see the similarities to kind of like a Space Bomber a bit. You know, the ship and the patterns and bullets and power-ups. Look at this. You're like mines. I like this thing. You just shoot it. Whoop, whoop. Everybody loves Egon. Good to see you, Helldog. What's going on? <laughs> Challenging Sabres is so difficult you barely got it and got to him. Oh, really? And there's like points with like a kappa on them. You're like, what? What's that about? I need that. Gang, gang. No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the robots. The robots get, get tough and then they get... Like, you shoot these guys and they... There's like a little dude. They run away. They go, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. oh. Those robot guys, though, because then they got lasers. Gotta watch out for them lasers. Once again, game's showing its teeth. Look at him tripping on the way out. It's, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Even Pac-Man had a theme like this one? It wouldn't surprise me. Namco has a lot. I mean, they have a lot of throwbacks in their games, which is kind of cool. Um, Gotta move very quick. And you got these guys coming up. Oh my god. Beat your first Divine Beast! Yay! The Divine Kelly has beat her first Divine Beast! Yeah! I know you've been struggling with that for a while. Ah, stay away from my stuff! Yeah, don't touch my stuff. We're going to win next time. Yeah, that's awesome. I know you've been I know you've been working on getting strong enough to do the divine beast, but like you're kind of scared for a bit there. To to get him. I need to get that there. Yeah, we got it. Ah, oh, we got a shield. Yeah, those green guys can eat it. Those green guys start to get tough, so we're starting to see new enemies here. Gang 14. Gang, gang, gang. Oh my god, no! 
There's like a little explosive boxes. Oh, it's like they, they shoot like a thing that detonates you get points for it. Oh, I want that. I want that one right there. Yeah, look at that. Get wrecked. Yeah, give it to me. Double shot. <sighs> so many, so many little like things. The game's blossoming a little bit. You know what I mean? And like Space Bomber, you got these. Oh, yeah. You got all these cool like little mechanisms and backgrounds and stuff that just keep changing and opening up. Super fun game. Dare I say? I, I'm having, I almost like this a little more than Galaga 88. <laughs> it's just so, it's quirky and weird. You get the Kappa, man. It locks everything up. That's cool. Ah, Van Ruda. The first Divine Beast. Yeah! What is that? What is that? Some space dragon. My nose is like, wow, wow. Okay. We got an egg. Ah! Oh, these patterns. Ah! These patterns, no. These patterns are getting weird now. You see those guys, like, starting to, like, starting to squirm down. You see that? That, that wiggly thing they're doing? They're wiggling. Oh, my God. Continue. <laughs> we'll continue. That's a pretty good first run. Slow everything down. Talking, talking all the strats for. Uh, Talking all the strats for that, uh, that, uh, Legend of Zelda. Oh, those, those things are, are like, also dropping power-ups? No. Oh my god! Flowers. 
that note doesn't take my flower. Not for you. But not for you. For my flowers. Cosmo Gangs are, are, are remind you of the Dig Dug arrangement. Try harder. Ow. Gang 21. That's a double shot. Ow, now. Give it to me. I like that they taunt you. Like, you know, there's a lot of animation going on. And the more you kind of start to play the game, you're like, oh, look at that. Yeah. Ow! It's like, also, the enemies, like, they hide behind fireworks and, like, the explosions. I think it's pretty rough. Like, some of the, some of the, the bullets and stuff. Getting the shit kicked out of me. In these later levels. We're gonna do one more hot run. Let's see how far we really go. Do you use the amiibos when you're playing the Breath of the Wild? Do you use them for the extra ingredients and weapons? Yeah, that's a thing. Like, so if you've ever played uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, they're like the these things called amiibos. I have one, and they're little they're little RFID tokens with their little statues, and you can buy them and collect them. And when you scan them into your Nintendo Switch. What happens is, is then the switch will, like certain games, if they have a mechanism for it, they read the little token off of the statue, and then some since it knows it's a genuine Nintendo product, it dumps out something special, like whether it's a, like for Mario Kart, if you s you can scan all the different characters for different costumes, you can unlock costumes. I know in Zelda, I think it gives you, it it either like gives you like I know it's like gives some of them give you like special, like you said like special food, special abilities. <laughs> Um, special costumes, things like that. It's pretty cool. You want to play with the Amiibos? I didn't either. Yeah. It's a little Nintendo collector figs. Uh, Zelda yeah, the Zelda-specific ones are pretty rad. Yeah, you're playing the hard way. Prison rules. <laughs> Why, is it? Why is it prison rules Zelda? Like, what is that? That's got to be a painful way to play Zelda. Where you're just getting shanked. Constantly. Get, sh get shanked. Play some, play some Zelda and get shanked. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Yeah, you can see like, I, you see the explosions like when you're shooting an enemy. It's really easy to lose track of the bullets. Which is kind of kind of rough, like especially later when you want to chain a bunch of them. Got to pay attention to them bullets. Like that, because yeah, one of them could just do like a drive-by and shit a bullet out, and you wouldn't even know until it's too late. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Nah. You just run around and kill things, laugh, and keep running, and then, then you're, then you F them in the, wait, hold up, what am I reading? These little, these little, these little green guys, I think are the bane of my existence in this game, because like, oh, come on, what the hell happened there? <coughs> I shot that guy. That was garbage. Don't touch. Don't touch. Yeah, don't touch. It says, I run around, kill things, laugh, and keep running. Then I F them in the B-hole. Oh! 
You haven't messed with the Amiibo yet, but he, he bought some NFC cards and you're going to try that one? Guru, I was going to do that too. Like, I was going to make like a keychain full of them. And I never got around to doing it. You know, like a whole keychain of them so I could like scan in uh, like Mario Kart. Because I want all the Mario Kart, um, all the Mario Kart, uh, what's it saying? So, uh, costumes, you know? Give me this. Yeah, give it to me. Green things are like Furbies, you know? They're annoying. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Those chains. Yeah, it's so satisfying, those chains. Point, 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 point. Yeah, this is, this. it's like, the more I play this game, the more I'm like, yeah, this is good. And the cool part is, it's only one button, like, you know, it's a chill, it's a chill game. Like, anybody can pick it up and play it. Yeah. Oh, we got something. I think that was a free guy. I think. Ooh. I give up. And thank God the power ups like they bounce, so you can you get like a second chance to get them. Thank God. <laughs> Death dreads just like that's how I live life. <laughs> just stab everything in the bee hole, you know. Isn't that how it all works? Stab everything in the bee hole. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there. Right, times 10. Gang 9. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's where the bullets start hiding. Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. I had all the power ups. I need, I need the thing, I need the thing. Oh, it's dead. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you better be sorry. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so sorry. Ah! Yeah, and you can get them as they're running off the stage, too. Man, I lost, I lost twice there. Holy God. How in the hell did I all of a sudden just lose two dudes like right away? Oh my god, no! Nowhere to go! <laughs> here we go, here we go! I like this game. It's fun. It's cheesy fun. And it's got, you know, it, like again, it's, it's, it, it's just button and stick and you don't have to mess with the game too much. Like, it is what it is. Um, Personally, I've never heard of it. I, I thought I may have heard of it on, like, Super Nintendo. And I know it really didn't get a great review on there. So I'm a little curious to know, like, how how well it turned out on Super Nintendo. Uh, I definitely am, am interested. And I like the fact that you can do two-player. And I understand, like, you can you can shoot your, your, like, your friend. And your friend will, like, blow it up. And then they'll turn into, like, because like, there's, like, a team play element so like think of Galaga the way Galaga was um, this one's a little bit different like there's there's some team aspects which I, I think is kind of cool too so it's definitely not your your standard Galaga or um, or uh, space invaders you know it's it's got some it's got some fun depth to it reminds me of Galaga you're right the hyper version right and this is Namco system 2 correct and um yeah, so like, we're gonna do one more of these. Let's do one more. Let's do one more of the old Cosmo game. Lumbo! Lumbo in the house. What's up, man? Happy, happy start of summer. How you doing? Here's a question, Lumbo. Have you played Cosmo game? I would like to know. This game seems kinda 
right up your alley. It's a man of skill. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's how you do it. Look at that, it's time six. So you can like, you can really get that multiplier going, which is cool. This is a neat scoring game. Like, there's a lot of elements here. We're at eight. Give up. Now we're at times nine. You believe you believe you have? Is that too much? I'm doing all right, man. Uh, not much to say other than just getting past a bunch of. Uh, boy, I lost my shield right away there. Getting past some health stuff, and other than that, I'm doing great. The weather's shaping up. We're gonna have some days off. Uh, I'll turn this down a hair. Got some days coming off. Uh, people visiting. Uh, a lot of projects and things like that at work are starting to come to head. You know, it's like it's nice when it's nice that things are starting to kind of line up. Getting ready for Kelly to to get moving in, which is going to be a big thing. You're gonna got birthday coming up. The birthday on uh, June second. So there's going to be a birthday stream that Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but we're going to do a birthday stream. Why not? It'll be Thursday. I'll have that day off the next day, too. I have no plans for the weekend other than that Sunday. Oh, God. I can't believe it. I'm like turning 45. You believe that? I get. I'm feeling old. I need that double. That double shot is where we're at. We're at that point in life where I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm getting old. Wake up with everything hurting. There we go. Get that. Get that multiplier. Those green guys. No! No. Damn it. I had everything. I even had the, the freaking spider thing, too, which I was going to use on these guys. And these guys. Yeah, the power ups make this game so much more fun. Boy. I'm using these guys. Oh. So hopefully uh, you're doing all right, Lumbo. Yeah? You're doing good? This game looks cute. Sigbjorn, what's happening, my man? Still younger than you? <laughs> I know. I'm old. Old Joel's old now. I'm on my way to Fitty. Believe that? Don't feel like it. I don't even, I don't even, you know, and I bet you when I get to Fitty, it ain't gonna be a thing. Like, it's just gonna be like, eh, whatever. I don't care. I still don't even feel 40, you know? That's the weird thing. There's, there's been a couple days, that's for sure, you know, like, but maybe a week. It'll go on for like a couple weeks, usually in like the late winter, but I'm just like, ugh. I'm really looking forward to this nose thing healing because that's going to be a life changer. Ah, I want that kappa. Yeah, the kappa. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. Here we go. I'm, I'm so no, you don't run from me. DJ Fitty M1. <laughs> 45 and everything hurts on you too. Oh, yeah, that's just the way it is, you know? You wake up with surprises. You know, now I'm starting to do that thing where, like, you're getting up off the floor, you know, and out of nowhere, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, my, my side just starts hurting. And I'm like, oh, is it cancer? Is it cancer? <laughs> is it cancer? Ugh.
I shouldn't joke about that. I just lost a friend to that. 42. 40, no, 43, 42. Friend Donick passed away. Super big bummer. Shit sneaks up on you, man. Yeah, run away. Oh, he's lucky I didn't catch him. I thought he was just going to keep going. I didn't know he was going to trip. I was going to put a blast him. We got another cute him up after this one. Third game we have not had at. Uh, I have not played yet. It's called Bells and Whistles. It is done by the same people that do Parodius. So if you like Parodius, stay tuned for the next game. Bells and Whistles. It's AKA Twin B. Got ninjas. I almost kind of don't want to convert this board. <laughs> it's it's much as I now stop taking my things ninjas now now you got my thing we got won my... we won we got energy now and he's like riding a frog back there we made it now am I going to Galloping Go Saturday or Prince on Friday ah uh, um I'll be there on that Sunday. Uh, the Sunday of uh, after June, not 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 this weekend. Uh, this weekend's just too much stuff going on, or lack thereof, really. I don't know. Ah, shit. Um, we have a guy from Twitch here who's probably still in the chat. And I'm dying again. Damn it. Thirteen. Dying at number thirteen. We're probably gonna do like the Prince Arcade slash Galloping Ghost uh, tour. Yeah, that'll probably be it. No guys left. This is not gonna last long. Oh my god, they're throwing all the bullets now. I almost wonder what the peas do. The peas don't seem to do anything. Oh my god. Ah, forget it. Super fun game. That was a bad second run there. Third run. The first one, though, wasn't too bad. That's what she said. Yes. Def Dread, you just turned 43 last week. Yeah, that's right. You got to moisturize. Mm. Fitty ain't nothing to fear. Just keep being alive every day, and the Reaper won't catch up. I feel your geriatric DM Yaku. Thank you so much for that. You're 28, and uh, the power of darkness compels within me. You know, I used to be I used to be the Mr. Mr. Dark guy back in the day. I was the goth guy. I'm going to do this one more time. One more time. One more time. Then we're going to move on to the next game. I used to be the old dark gothic guy back in the day, like, you know. I remember those days. I remember the, I remember the, the dark colored hair and I had I had those uh had those edgy necklaces and what are the they're like beads. Like they're like oversized metal beads. Remember those? Everybody had those. Thank god I never I was never one of those guys that were uh like what is it, those those seashell necklaces? No, that wasn't me. I was just like metal. <laughs> Metal and jeans, boots, leather, dark, everything. I miss those days, kinda. I guess I don't know. I I, I miss more of like the uh, like going going out to some of the places. Like there used to be some really great, uh, really great bars in the city that a lot of people would hang out at. We just had a lot of fun, and uh, these times are kind of over. You know, punk and, punk and industrial are now technically dead in Chicago. Might as well be. There's nothing fun open anymore, to say the least. Like, 
Maybe Liar's Club, if that. It's kind of where some of the malcontents hang out, but... Most of the people I still see there now, it's like... They still haven't left the scene. Like... <laughs> And I'm wondering if any of those people are still kind of, you know, healthy to hang around with anymore. Like, oh, you're, uh, 47, uh, two illegitimate children, uh, still hanging out at the bar regularly. Like, oh, good to see you. Neo, <laughs> Neo yes, you remember Neo, yeah. Oh, my God, the Jinkos? She's... I remember the Jinkos. I never rocked the Jinkos. I thought those were gross. We made a bet at GGA if Waffles can get to level three and Beastbusters and the Believers are victorious. I shame you. Left to, I gotta read that. That's that is a complex statement between rounds here. Guy yeah, Tommy seems to be good at games. Uh, oh look at oh it's these things. I see. Boy, I wish those would like block bullets too. Those little mines. Yeah, the problem with those Galloping Ghost streams is like they're they're right at a really weird time for me with like at the end of my day of work. So I try to catch them when I can. Or if I can go down to the arcade itself, it's you know That's always always that's always a treat to catch the, the Monday mystery game live as I had uh, last time. That was a lot of fun. Who knows? Well uh, maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make a showing. There we go. Yeah! Meow, 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 We got you out of here. Don't get greedy. We need to not get greedy this time. Let's see if we can make a real good run. Bam! I want a real good run of this. These things look like Goombas. When they fly at you, they're like Goomba heads. Like Nintendo. <laughs> I'm seeing something funny from Sigbjorn. I quickly read it. I was like, oh, I need to read that. <laughs> Good to see you, by the way. I'm gl glad, I glad you're in here. You, you always, uh, I always enjoy your stream, Sig. I do, um, I do lurk in. I like to lurk in them just because you, you play a lot of those, those, uh, like point and click adventures, and those are always fascinating to see, like. Some of those point and click adventures. I've, I've always been a big fan of those. Oh my god. The days from um, Lucas. Lucas Arts games were the best. Lucas Film and Lucas Arts games. Love those games. Full Throttle comes to mind of like some of my most favorite point and click adventures. Sam and Max. Oh my god. Oh no! I feel I feel like I've I've kind of done myself a disservice by not playing any of the police quest games. I know that those were like super awesome back then. Come on, dude! I was like off to the side. Clearly. All right, so I made I made a gamble there. I was trying to trying to rod the hitbox, and that didn't happen. I'm seeing a disturbing pattern, though. As soon as I get to level 13, it's like this is where I die. This game really puts it in you. So sorry. Eat a Goomba. Hey, Foosballer, what's happening? How you doing? Sigbjorn says, adult friendship is just saying we should meet up until one of you dies is the darkest sentence you've read, but also uncomfortable. Interesting. Oh, shit. I think there was a free dude there. I think that's an S1-ness. All right. Cosmo Gang, 
pretty rad. Yeah, yeah. What y'all think of Cosmo Gang? What do you think of this game? I like it. I like it because it's 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 stupid fun. Um, and the weird thing is, is like when you start playing it, it's like it, it's like those typical games where like you start to play it, you check it out, and you're like, eh, it's kind of cutesy, and eh. and then you start to really get your teeth into it, and you're like, oh, this is kind of getting tough. I kind of like, I'm liking it. I'm liking it, you know. And then it, and then it gets, it gets deeper and deeper. Oh my god! You know what's gonna happen? It's a perfect time for that. Uh, it's it's a it's a great game. I really 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 like it. But hopefully in the future, we will make this a um, we will make this a uh, Rolling Thunder two, which is also in the Sega Genesis. So uh, yeah, yeah, Cosmo Gang the video man, Cosmo Gang the video. Who thought? Goofy Namco System two game. I'm really glad the board was super stable. Um. Because I was having some weird stability issues. I was I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't stream it. Seems to be happy now. But again, I'm going to take her out to the garage. We're going to clean it up. i got to scrub you know, scrub the JAMA connector down. Um, give, it, give it the whole treatment. And then I'm going to start preparing the board because I have like a, a diode coming and I have a bunch of, bunch of chips i got to burn. But I hear it's, it's, it's supposed to be a pretty easy conversion. Um, and I'm going to do my best to like fully document it and everything. Uh, and we can maybe puddle shaft. Um, so Sig Bjorn gave me 100 bits, and you know what happens when 100 bits happens in here. It is time to feed the chunk. We're going to feed the master chunk. Let's feed the chunk. Running low on bits. I need to, I need to go shopping. We're getting, we're getting low on them bits. We're getting low on them we're getting low on them past, bas past blaster bits. Some bast plaster bits. <laughs> Thank you, Sig Bjorn. We will feed the champ. Some cheesy craze crunch. Oh my god. We got some pet the chunk in here too. Oh, we're gonna get those pets in. Zero fire. We're gonna check that one off the list, that's for sure. That's for sure. So let's hear it in the chat. What did you guys think of Cosmo Gang? Yeah, you like it? Do you hate it? Does it seem too too cutesy for you? What's your thoughts? Uh, you know, earlier I heard it's a it's a good looking carnival shooter. That's about it. Uh, you know, it's got it's got it's got shades of Galaga in it. That's for sure. I mean, it's got the DNA, the Namco DNA, which is interesting. Um, I've never you know I've never heard. Namco kind of going any further with Cosmo Gang. Unless these were the dudes in maybe Point Blank, possibly. Nice and fun. Yeah, the, the, I think the scoring system is 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 what I what I like the most about it. Um, I'm a big fan of this. Oh, big, fu big fan of the scoring system. I like that, you know, you have like these multipliers that keep coming up. And, you know, you have opportunities to like continue on those multipliers. So and then you can like move on to the next level. It's like, man, I want to play another one. In fact, I do. In fact, we, we, we will play one more because I can't get enough of this game. The more I start thinking about, like, the multipliers, multipliers, multi multiplier, the more I want to play it. All right. Let's do one more. <laughs> Just one more. I want to get past 13, you know, like... Not 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 dying so early. I was doing so good when I was playing earlier. Like when I first started, I was just whacking the game. Like, yeah, we're gonna do one more. It makes you take stupid risks and then you die. But see, that's every shmup though. You know, and I, I think that's that's a sign of good of good uh, design. Because it does make you think. It makes you think about what you what you should and shouldn't be doing at speed. And I, and I love that. I love that. I love that sense of, like, urgency. Like, do I get this now or not? You know? And it's not like, I, you know, I'm not seeing the bullets. Uh, the only time I don't see the bullets is when they're, they're behind those, you know, those explosions, which is kind of rough. Um... 
I'm curious to know, like, if they come down to attack you, do you get less... Do you get less points than the initial attack? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so if they go to the bottom of the screen and come back to the top, do you get less points when you kill them the next time around? That's my curiosity. We got the Kappa. There it is. Look at the Kappa comes in, just freaks him out. Like, oh, hell no. What's a history Cosmo game? It seems like the next game would have been Fighter and Attacker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's not much. And it's weird because, like, it's a Namco property. The only thing I can think of that's close to this, like, in my brain, is, like, point... Is They're, like... They're gun games. There's two of them. And they're called Point Blank. Uh, oh, no! We'll win next time. That's the only, that's the only thing I could think of. And Namco really hasn't, you know, ran with these characters, because, like, I would have remembered them, but I don't. Gang. I also want to know what the deuce these powers do, like the peas. You know, that makes sense because it gives me like a shield. Now, yeah, give me the thing. Yeah. Get the double, right? Hmm. This will be my last game, I promise. <laughs> Look at that, the chain. And then we get this. Yeah, we get this. We slow everybody down. I think what's more addicting is honestly the scoring. Like, I love seeing the pop-ups knowing that you're getting the multipliers. Ah, oh, shit. You're getting the multipliers. Like, I like that. You know, because you, you know you're doing something, and then you look up at your score, and you're like, ah, times seven. But then also, you don't lose that multiplier when you die. So now I'm kind of curious about that. Like, then what's the point of the multipliers? And, like, and how do they fluctuate? Because I notice they'll, like, they'll go up and down. All right, I need that double. That double shot. Need that double shot. Now, don't run away, now! So like, yeah, if I lose like my double shot, I don't lose I don't lose the multipliers either. Oh my god. This sinks. Come on, man. Squirrely bastard. Yeah, like there, like I, I missed a bunch and it didn't go down. So like how how that's what I'm trying to figure out. Now. How do they work? Oh my god! I will take a look at that in a second. Move to the max! Why aren't you sub to DJ Psycho M1 streams? It's fabulous. Keep up the great work, Joel. Woo woo woo! You know it. Oh my god, move to the max, my man. How you doing, my friend? You know it indeed. All the way from the Meat chicken. Hopefully we can make a, a, a nice summer trip up there. Visit you for more than a day. That's definitely gonna happen. Probably like maybe maybe July, maybe maybe August. Depending on how August is. August is gonna be August is already starting to fill up with all the damn things. Oh my god. Go. Now, those guys with the freaking robot lasers are the worst. Thank you, Boob. Seriously, man. Thank you so much, my man. Big retro vibes. <laughs> Trying to keep it going, man. Trying to keep it always going. All I got. 
That's all I got. Trying to make my Tuesdays count. You know what I mean? It's crazy to think how how long I've been streaming this show. And uh, and just all the different games. and th Now, there it goes. It locked up. You son of a bitch. There we go. I think that's enough. I think Cosmo Gang's like, no, we've had enough. Now. We've had enough. We've had enough. Psygrapho, ah. a oh, man, you're awesome. <laughs> this was the run, too. I know I was doing awesome, and then it was just like, no. I told you guys earlier, like, I still have to take this board out and take care of it and love it because it is, it is dusty. It is dusty. I don't know if there's like debris on it. It's been it's been kind of fickle since I got it. I mean, it runs. It runs well. It's not overheating, which is good. Like there's nothing there's nothing hot on it. But um, yeah, it's got like I need to clean these cartridge. I need to clean these connectors. I need to scrub all those down. I'm, and usually when I take a board out, I yank out each individual socketed chip, scrub them out. Resocket the chip, you know, like everything I can, the FRAM, you name it, the PALS. Um, yeah, so Cosmo Gang, aka Namco System 2, hopefully in the coming future we'll be able to play Rolling Thunder 2 in this big baby. And it's like you can see, it's about maybe two and a half Polish heads big. It's a, it's a pretty big board, you know, it's a pretty big board. Um, seems very hot to you, making you feel all. All tangly in your neither regions. Sigbjorn, get tangly. Uh, Psygrapho, by the way, feeding chunks, swinging clubs, and arcade educating the pandemicade perfection. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you. I appreciate you. We're going to move on to the next game. Let's go to the, let's go to the full screen cam. Welcome, everybody. If you're not uh, tuned in, you're not liked, you're not, you're not, uh, you haven't liked the channel or followed it, go ahead and give it. A big old juicy like or follow. You're tuned into Live from the Pandemicade with me, Joel. How you doing? My small little personal arcade here in Chicagoland, Illinois, where we play all sorts of fun arcade games on the regular. I'm also a collector. I like to uh, collect and hunt down amazing arcade games. Um, and we got some good ones today. I got actually <coughs> quite a few we picked out. Um, this one came from France yesterday. Take a look at her. Here we go. Boom. We got a Konami board here. That's right. The same style of board that was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was on. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to have to take a small break right after we wire this thing up. What's nice about this is... Uh, uh, also, same type of board as like Simpsons too. More of a Simpsons side because uh, it's got the stereo headers on it. It's got these two little, these two little stereo headers. So you can see the two stereo pots, and then there's a stereo header right here. So if I build a, um, I actually have one too on my Parodius board, Parodius Da, and uh, you plug that into there, and you can get stereo out of this board. Unfortunately, I don't have stereo wired up for this cabinet. Um, so this game is called Bells and Whistles, uh, a.k.a. Twin B91. People call it Twin B91. Because uh, there was actually a Twin B game uh, on arcade, and it was on the Konami Bubble System, if I'm not mistaken, which is an extremely fragile uh, type of arcade system. And uh, they were known for failure. Um, so this is basically... Now, I already have a Twin B game. Um, Twin B Yahoo... Y A H O O Yahoo. It's called Twin B Yahoo, which is uh, available on the Konami System GX, uh, and there's a ROM board that sits on top of that one. Um, I believe the same team that brought to you brought brought Parodius to you um, also brought this to you. So you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of good vibes from this one. This is a 1991 game. Uh, it's gonna have that Simpsons uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade sound to it you know that really cool konami sound you you got those orchestral hits um all the things that made konami awesome is uh what makes up this shooter and i've been kind of looking for this guy for a while i know some people have uh, sold quite a few of these from time to time they don't go for a lot um 
this one I got for a paltry sum of $200 from France. So normally they go for like 250 to 400 depending, you know. Uh, I'm sure they're, I'm sure if you can get a whole kit of one of these boards, uh, they'll, they'll go for a little bit higher. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to wire this thing up. I'm going to take a, a quick just kind of break here to stand up and stretch. And we're going to come back and check out the third game of the night, Twin B 91. How about that? Sunset Riders, thank you. Yeah, that's another one, Sunset Riders. Uh, I've contacted someone about a Blast City again. Hopefully it's the one, Shinkin. Good luck, dude. How you doing, my buddy? Yeah. Uh, Boob to the Max says, I know it's not retro, but super excited about TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Uh, yeah, Shredder's Revenge is going to be super great. Um, that looks like, it looks like it's going to be a real solid beat-em-up. And, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully it's going to be a uh, Streets of Rage type thing. You know, like where Streets of Rage 4 came out and there was so much love that was put into that title. It really looked great. It played great. It had a good following. Still has a good following. So crossing my fingers for that one. Also, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Konami's coming out with that huge collection, that huge Konami collection of all of the beat-em-ups and the Nintendo games. I'm all over that one. I think that's super great. Like, they're bringing in the fighting games and stuff like that. So, like, I'm very excited about those. Uh, Boo, you, you have all the reason to be excited about that, man. And that, that's total retro vibe all day. All day. Taco Bronson is asking, Are you are you going to Combo Breaker? Well, that's why I'm wearing the Combo Breaker shirt today, just kind of as a respect to my peoples. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, one of my buddies is working it, so maybe I'll get, like, I, I know, like, the um, the spectator cost to get into Combo Breaker was pretty expensive. It was, like, something like 50 to 70 bucks just to be a spectator, and I was like, huh? What? I don't know about that. Like, I would I would love to go. I would love to go. Um, you know, um, my buddy Will might show up. Uh, so everybody knows Will. Uh, he was he was here in the Christmas December to remember shmup event. We were playing two player shmups. Real good guy. We were playing uh, Street Fighter games and stuff like that. Well, he's working the event. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might I might probably just like use him as a proxy to get me a t shirt. So we'll see what happens. Hater Shack, it's uh, it's been a while since you've seen bells and whistles. Can't recall, and yet I'm playing it. See, there you go. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna do a quick timeout. I need to do a timeout. I need to drink some water. I need to turn these fans off. Because now it's getting cold. It's like 60 degrees outside. And close some of these windows uh, and use the bathroom. So I'll be right back. Hold it tight. And we will be back with a very cool game. Bells and Whistles by Konami. Let's just do a quick tuning on that one while we're... Look how great this game is. Lots of color. It's it's going to be a really neat title. Um, and then after this, we have a uh, another b new board that I've added. Uh, and I was able to get this one from Klob. Very excited to talk about this one. Um, and it, it actually completes a collection uh, of, of arcade games, of, of three arcade games that you've already seen the other two. Uh, so it's really cool that we're going to be able to play this one uh, that's coming up after this. So hold tight. A little, little, little quick timeout. I'll be back maybe about three to five minutes here, all right? Enjoy the tunes, and uh, we'll be back. See you soon.
Hey, everybody. We're back. Live from the pandemic. Hey. It's your host, Joel. Master Chunk, we're here. Okay, I can now breathe again. <laughs> this is like, once again, my nose stuff. Oh, great. What's going on with work now? What is this here? Let me know that you're what? See some amazing, like, like emails and stuff that popped in. I was like, oh god, <laughs> what's burning? What's burning at work? Isn't it like the worst? Ah, beat that wiener, PM collector boy. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, that's not the plan. That's not the plan. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta go and uh, I gotta sh just flush my nose. I'm still doing that thing. I'm still, I'm still recovering from this, uh, this nose surgery thing. I'm like not out of the woods yet. Like I'm in week, I'm in early stage of week two, which is like now all, all of the stuff that was like, cause they, they went in there and like bored it out. So like now there's a lot of like bleeding and, and all the stuff that dried up now is all coming out. So it's like, I'm, I'm still, Still trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm still trying to sleep, but it's uh, it's happening. We're getting past it. We're getting past this thing. Nose boogery, yeah, with some twin B and nose boogery, yeah. So we're about to place a twin B. Oh, hold up. Cygrifo has a question. Question. On your astro cab, how tall is the vertical monitor, as in the actual gameplay area? Okay, great question. No, that's a it's a totally legit question, dude. So, <clears throat> in the uh, Japanese candy cabs, the most common, you know, the, Air the Astro City, the Blast City, um, Astro 2, you know, pretty much the new, you know, new Net City, all that stuff. All these cabinets have a twenty, what, what they, what in Japan calls a twenty-nine inch monitor, um, but in uh, United States standards, they're just twenty-seven. So we have a full corner to corner. Let's just show you here. Move the camera. Move the camera here. So this is a full corner, 27 inches from corner to corner. That's how you measure that. You don't measure like this. You don't measure like that. You measure corner to corner, and then you'll get a full 27. In Japan, they call them 29s. In the United States, they're 27s. Right, it's no different. That's there, same size monitor. That monitor will fit in here, and this monitor will fit in there. And that's what's nice about having multiple candy cabs is because you can always have a backup monitor when you start, you know, having backup monitors. You only need really like one monitor for each, you know. So like I have two MS nines, which is you know the type of monitor that's in it. Um, so I keep you know spare tuned MS nines because if this one blows out, I can just go boop. Boop, and just put a fresh one in. It's it's really nice. What do you think about that, Chunk? He doesn't know what to think about. <laughs> Nose surgery? You missed something? Yeah, man. Yeah, Dave, I had, um, what is it called? Sinoplasty? Sino something? Sinoplasty? Yeah, it's this thing where they, they, they went up in my head, like, all inside my head, and, like, and then, like, Cause like my 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 breathing passages were like they were like small, so I wasn't able to like breathe properly. So it's like it's not septoplasty; it's different. <laughs> I have a plastic nose now. Uh, uh, okay, so Tiger was saying twenty-seven inch. Gotcha. You saw a cheap arcade one-up Pac-Man. You thought it'd be an easy mod for a dedicated chump. Okay, Cygrifo, listen up. Listen up, Cygrifo. Drop into my Discord. Drop into the Discord and you want to talk to uh, Mighty Squirrel. If there's anybody that knows about those arcade one-ups, Mighty Squirrel's where it's at. And you can just ping him. There's a link for it. Jump on in there. We got a Discord. We also got a YouTube channel, too, for all those that are wondering. Might as well drop that in there, too. Give those a follow. Um, yeah, um, so there's a guy, Mighty Squirrel, that likes to mess around with those arcade one-ups. And by the way, I am not going to shit on you for messing around with an arcade one-up or emulating or any of that stuff. I think it's pretty cool. It's like, whatever you can do 
to build yourself like a small little game console. Arcade one ups are cool. Like if you can get one cheap, you know, the monitors are still good enough. You can hack them. You could put Raspberry Pis in them. You could, you could plug them. I've seen people plug misters into them. Upgrade the buttons. They now have like extra. People are making like all sorts of like panels and shit for them. Like th there's so many mods for them now. I hate to say it. I'm kind of. I'm kind of jealous of what people are doing to them because it reminds me a little bit of like back in the day when you used to like mod PCs and it was like, you know, so like you're always trying to find all these cool custom parts to make it look cool, you know? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they're expensive for what they are and I don't want to get into a huge debate about it because I think it's a stupid debate. Uh, you know, they are expensive, but if you can find like a cheap one and you can mod the shit out of it, they're, they're kind of rad. You know what I mean? Like there's some neat, Neat, neat stuff coming out for those things, man. Um, I, I'm even seeing like LED, like LCD uh, marquees and stuff with like you know it, that'll change to the to the type of game that you're playing and shit. I was like, this is wild. This is really cool. Yeah, they're little virtual pinball tables. Pretty rad, you know. So I for saying, don't get me wrong. You love your Blast City customs, but you know, be good dedicated vertical. Why not? Even if it, even if you just hack it off and make like a little like a countertop. You know, because I know most people just want to play, like, you know, game on a countertop or something like that or on a desk. Absolutely. It's a nice, stable, you know, they're stable enough for what they're, you, what they're good for, you know? Um, but, yeah, they are what they are. Fury Force knows what's going on. Rand kill. It's not a bad thing. You just lack space. But at the same time, you can find an actual vertical arcade cabinet, decent shape. I can agree with that. You know, Rand, Rand kill's also got a point. Um... You know, you can find decent arcade cabinets out there still uh, for reasonable price. I mean, shit. I know my buddy, you know, he flips a lot of cabs. You know, he's always turning cabs over left and right, wh whether they're new or used. Um, you know, but again, I'm in the Midwest. In the Midwest, we are we are the home of the Witties. We're still the arcade mecca with concern to United States-made arcade cabinets and equipment. You know, from monitors to, you know, finding a lot of the Midway, Bally, Williams stuff. Um, you know, hell, we got, we still got Namco out here. We, we had Konami, you know, we had Data East out here. We had all big offices out here. So there's a lot of shit around here. And I know for a fact you can find, like, a Woody cab for, like, 300 bucks. You know, yeah, you're going to probably dump four, five 500 into it, you know, with, to get it up and running. Um, you know, repair the chassis, buy a new control panel, power supply, cables, Miscellaneous four or five hundred to get the thing up to snuff. Maybe, you know, maybe clean, have some nice side arts or something. Um, you know, it's it's a mild investment, but it's definitely under it's definitely under a thousand. If you want like a if you want to really build out something nice, out of like a cabinet like a used cabinet, I think that's a fair way to put it. Um, you just got to watch out for the gougers today because there's a lot of gougers. You know, they're looking they're looking to sell a piece of shit for like diamond prices you know spaces as a premium yeah and there you go then then like you know the, the one-up cap should be more than adequate for you dude in a perfect world you love to have a capcom mini cute exactly yeah you and you and a lot of people <clears throat> Be beautiful cabinet by the way ran kill said you have a one-up star wars trilogy uh because you, you don't see the actual cabs locally often and there you go and, and yeah and also the vector monitor well, because the vector monitors are just so ridiculously expensive, and even to maintain a vector monitor, uh, you know, tr good luck. Good luck trying to find a color vector these days under under like, you know, mad money. It's it's stupid. So, yeah. All right, let's get let's move on to the next game, and uh, <coughs> we'll continue this conversation in the game. Excuse me. I'm feeling grotesque. What do we got here? Current game, we gotta change this out. This is 1991. This is Bells and Whistles. Bells and Whistles. My curiosity is where did this come? I, I think this was on Saturn. Or maybe it was Twinbee Yahoo on Saturn. I could be wrong. I could have been. I also realized this is, my chat's a little off. My chat. There you are. Yeah. 
Oh, I keep making tweaks to this damn stream. It's like every time I come back to it, I find something in a different place. I don't know what's going on, man. I, I've, I've had some serious house gremlins lately. I almost wonder, because we had some huge storms roll through here. And after those storms, I've, I've like, I can't add stuff to like Wi-Fi and just weird things are happening. And I'm like, what's happening here? What's happening? So I keep finding like little weird electrical things happening. I, I'm hoping, hoping it didn't have something cook off somewhere. All right. What are we doing here with this game? 1991. Once again, excuse me. Pardon me. There we go. Nose is just going out of out of control here. All right, we get a good old sip of water and we'll get going. What about some Captain Tornado? What's that? <clears throat> uh, aside from that, your your big thing was to make a dedicated cap for Three Killer Instincts custom graphics that works. Okay. That sounds pretty awesome. Well, let me turn this down a hair. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little loud. I don't want that audio to clip, and then everybody hears the crunch. Well, right, let's get started. Hello, hello. Is everybody listening? My name is Melonia, and I live on the planet Mera. We are now being attacked by the forces of Eva. Please, 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 come quickly and save us. All right. Turn that down a hair. There you go, it's not too bright. Got that Konami sound. Kind of like uh, like Parodius, where you got those bells, and you shoot the bells, and they change color, and the colors give you you know different power ups and things like that. This game is no different. The more you juggle the bells, the more points um, your your little ship can can get. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I hold down my, my button, you can do a charge attack. This is pretty cool. This is an extreme thirst. <laughs> You're not paying yourself to say that. Something here looks like my, uh, like the ROMs are, are... What's this? Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I saw that there was an ambulance. And then, I, I think I got some ROM corruption here. Look at that. Maybe I do? Okay, something seems up. Like those little guys on the ground. Can't shoot them. Not sure if Pass Blaster's still in here. I was wondering if you could take a look at this and let me know if this looks this looks right. Just a little looks a little jagged for what this is. It's like a missing, a missing detail.
Look at this, we've got a giant enemy crap. off with this board. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a hair off. May need to reseat the ROMs. That's what I was thinking too. I think it's just a hair off. Again, this one, this one's fresh out of the package, so I didn't get a, I didn't get a lot of time to clean it, other than just cleaning the uh, Jamma Edge to, to test it. And I was like, oh, that looks good. All right. Yeah, it looks like one of the sprite layers is uh, is a little wonky with some of the with whatever ROM it was trying to access the data from. But what's here works. Let's crank this up. Oh, what? Yeah, there's like a color off here. Well, let me uh, let me reboot this guy one more time. Good old, good old reboot and classic hardware. What do you know? We'll check in on the chunk. How you doing, chunk? What's up, chonk? All the chonk. Look at this thing. It is a dirty board. You know, of course, it has its its dirt. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a little bit of a seat here. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if all of a sudden this thing is uh acting up. But whatever. We'll get through it. Boop. Let's turn this on. Yeah, when I first received it, I was getting bad EPROMs, and I was like, whoa, what's up with this? And then I held down, I did the old classic Konami trick where you hold the button down. Uh, there's like a test button. Usually it's like a momentary test button. See, look at this. This looks really good now. It's like all colorful and hitting everything. Maybe I just needed to push the ROMs down and reseed it. Oh, snap. Yo, BX Benny with the gift sub. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I think this looks better. It looks a little cleaner now. Maybe I just needed to, to push on those ROMs. I need to clean them up. Take it easy, Lumbo. Have yourself a great main. Have yourself a great evening, man. Yeah, we need to do some more fighting street. Let's plan that out. Let's plan that out. Lumbo needs to make a comeback to the stream. We really had a great time with him. Um, if, if, if maybe we can get Pete Han too, and then we can have both of y'all, and I think that would be pretty great. Yeah, see, there's that jaggedness again, but ah, uh, well, well, we'll just go through this. I think we're gonna be all right. What am I gonna do? Fight, fight, ah! Seriously, Benny, huge dude. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Hey, like hit some moon. So you got good color and everything. Some suspect stuff down there, I guess, but oh well. Looks better. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, I gotta clean it. You know, like like I said, like with all of my games, I usually when they're when they're ingested. Um, <clears throat> They go right to the bench, but you know, and then usually what I do is I look at the, uh, I look at like you know if I could find a manual for it, and then I download the manual, and then I put that in my database at home. <clears throat> you know, because each game might need you know negative five or something like that.
Yeah, this here, like this weird spot here is kind of, kind of got me, it's suspect. Maybe that's just the game. I'll have to compare it to footage like on YouTube or something. Look at all the fruit. Spoke too soon looks melty. That's what I was saying. I thought it looked a little, like this year looks a little odd. Yeah. Let's just kind of go through it and see what happens. I mean, the game's here. The game's working. Yeah, even in the upper corner. See, like, what I'm looking at is my my player's in the upper left-hand corner. You know what I'm thinking? One of these Konami customs might need to have a re, a re, uh, a reflow. I'm not worried about that. Ah! Like, in the upper corner, I notice, like, everything looks a little odd there. <clears throat> what sucks about some of these old Konami games, like they just they just take such a beating, you know. It's funny because I, I know Pass Blaster has one of these for sale, and uh, or he's or he's sell or he sold it recently, I think, uh, and it had a bunch of stuff that it needed work on too, so it doesn't surprise me. Damn Konami boards are always so fragile. Oh, stop it, nose. Stop. Stop. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're missing color somewhere. We're missing something. Yeah, yours had battery damage? Does, does this look like it's off, is my question, Pass Blaster. Does this look like it's off of here? Like, am I missing something? That's what my curiosity is. Oh, now! Like there. Like this should be like probably multiple colors. And same as the upper corner. Yeah. Something's off. Backgrounds are way off. Okay. Yeah, see this is this is a mess here too. Hmm. Yeah, this this level looks bad. <laughs> Damn it! That's what I thought. Like something looked weird. You know, when I, when I first tested the board a couple times, I was like, eh, this, all right, you know, this should be good for the stream. Damn it. It's all right. This wasn't, I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of money on it, thank God. It's probably repairable, too. Like, it's so close. It's probably just like a, be a cap or something like that. Who knows? Battery damage. Probably nothing. That's what I was thinking too, because like all the sprites are still here. It's just the background layer, so it's probably just something I just gotta. Maybe it's like a it's cold solder joint or something somewhere. So that's like probably what I'll first hit is just all the sockets and just go with that. It's like it's off by like a pin, you know. I mean, thank God the music is still here. In uh, Konami games, like once the music goes, if you don't have a custom for it, <laughs> goodbye board. And what I mean by that is like some of these Konami boards, they have like super duper custom hardware. Yeah, see like all that's working, the rotation, the scaling, which is good. Can I shoot these things? Mm. 
And then the operator's defense, the guy that sold it to me, was like... I mean, it looks like it's working. You turn, the, turn it on, you saw all the color. I mean, probably played it briefly and was just like, yep. Oh, shit. I didn't expect those guys to do that. I've been really wanting this game, too. I'm a big fan of Twin B. I loved it on Nintendo. Played a lot of a Twin B on Nintendo. That was one of those uh, five screw games, too. It was one of the Nintendo five screw games. It was one of my first like first Nintendo shmups, too. I remember playing Twin B and I was like, this is crazy. What is this game? Like, you know. I was getting those ow, fantasy zone vibes, you know? You see some Japanese Twin B series videos compared compared to this game last year? Yeah. Yeah, Twin B Twin B's got a good following. Um Twin B's got a you know warship following to say the least. Warshipped. Listen to that soundtrack. Oh no, I can't just run into it? That sucks. We're gonna keep going. Look at that little guy in the front. What is this paddle boat? B, B paddle boat? Oh, you can't just kill those in one shot. I love that charge. Of course, there's bats, right. I've had enough of it. Oh, I was hoping to take all those out. No. Of course there's bats. Look at these little guys. They're like pissed at me. Oh my God. This is wild. Wait, where am I? Wait, can I? Oh, I see. You can't be. Ah, and you, you got to squeeze around it. Well, I get it. So you got to do this again? Ah, okay. Probably not to uh, play this one too much longer. We'll just keep it going for a little bit, and then we'll, we'll take it down. I mean, it's running well, but... Uh, I don't want to stress the board any more than it needs to. Look at these guys. They're like... Muda, one of your first shmups was Parodius on the SNES. You had no idea the idea behind it, but you loved it. I know, me too. Same thing. Like, when I discovered... Par Parodius took a... I didn't discover Parodius until, I would say, Saturn? When I started importing, like, Saturn... Um, Saturn games? And one of, one of the guys down at the shop was like, why don't you check this out? I think you'd like this. And I'm like, really? You know, you look at the back of the box, you're like, really? I don't understand this. No, I don't know. Sure enough, fell in love. Fell in love with that, that Parodius, man. Like, and then I realized, like, I like Parodius more than I like Life Force. Like, how did that happen? You know, for, for as long as I can remember, Life Force was, Life Force was my go-to. You know, that was like the Konami shmup. You know, I love, I love Gradius, but like, I did, I like Life Force way more. Uh, I love playing um, Axelay stuff like that. You know, like, those were serious shmups back in the day. But then, like, we never got. We never got like all the cool cute em ups, you know. The the earliest the earliest I was exposed to this again was you know, in the Nintendo days. Like this was very early Nintendo game. I said it was a five screw, so this was like one of those titles where, you know, it's like what the hell is this? Some cartoon ship with hands? It's like nobody wants to play that. But 
See, I did because I love Fantasy Zone. You know, I, I, I grew up with the the Sega Master System. You know, if my, if my neighbor didn't have the Master System, I would have probably never played it. You know? So it was like Sega Master System, Commodore 64, uh, Game Boy. I didn't have a Nintendo until the 90s. Maybe 89. It was late. I, I didn't get a Nintendo until late. I think we were right around the time of when I got a Nintendo, Rescue Rangers was coming out, which coincidentally is a is, is just a rele new re newly released movie. I was I was just watching a little bit of that last night. It's pretty ridiculous. New Rescue Rangers movie. It was like what? What is this? Rescue Rangers. But yeah, I love cute em ups, man. Love them. Speaking of Saturn games, a beta version of Mr. FPG. Yeah, yeah, that was really exciting news. I saw that. It was really, uh, it's good to hear the Saturn is starting to starting to get its legs in uh, Mr. You know, now it's in testing phase, which is great. Um, you know, now, now that it's in people's hands, that just means it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna get better and better. And um, it's just good news. It's good news. I'm excited. Get to play some Sega Rally Championship. See, like here, this everything looks like it's working. Kicking ass, though. Oh, I couldn't. As I'm saying, see, that's what happens. That old, that old, that old retro. Uh, that's saying, you know, it's like it's if you say it, it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna happen. Or what was it? Murphy's Law. God, you can't bomb those things. I'm shooting those squid, and they're like, they're like splitting open. What? Like, what's happening here? Is it like scallops or mollusks or something? Bomb those things in the ground now! Alright, one more. We're gonna keep going. One more time. We'll just see if these problems. Might as well just see where the problems end and where they start. I think I got a good idea what I need to do. Get this board up to 100%. It needs just a little love. Yeah, getting the Saturn running on uh, on Mister is a real big deal, though. I mean, we just got PlayStation, and now we got Saturn. We're gonna have Neo Geo Pocket soon. Oh my God, we're gonna play some Neo Geo Pocket games. I'm excited about that. I want Neo Geo Pocket more than anything. Uh, I also saw that somebody has a. Uh, Somebody who's shown the, the Toe Plan 2 core was like starting to starting to look great. And we got that little ambulance there. I love that. The ambulance. No! Oh no! Get the ambulance to kind of like power your guy back up. Shit. Power sucking. Get out of here. Yeah. Background layers are cooked. Love how your character is like throwing balls. You know, like you're you're not technically shooting. You're kind of like throwing. What a unique character. Definitely need to play more cute em ups. Hopefully they can work it down to single RAM sticks. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, it needs more memory. I need to read up more on it. Uh, I, I saw some info about it, and I was like, oh, shit. People are playing it. I'd say whatever it takes, you know? I'm, I'm all about adding memory to Mister if you can do it. Or maybe just a larger memory package. Oh, shit.
Oh my god. This guy is so good. Nasty jellyfish. I'll just I'll just do a full playthrough here. We'll just point it through. I don't think it's gonna hurt the board. It's already it's already out of socket anyway, so whatever the hell's happening. Oh my god. Oh no! This guy's unfair. There we go. You guess you'd want to know who makes the game use two two X RAM sticks versus one X because if all the arcade ports are just need a single pin, maybe then who cares? Who knows? Who knows? New Geo Pocket, it's coming. The thing is, any of us who want to get Mister would really would need that extra memory. Yeah, that means then like everybody's cases and builds are gonna change. Like, especially if the memory sticks, you know, won't fit in some of these cases. So, like, all of these expensive-ass cases people bought are going to have to change. That is unless of, like, they can maybe find a, another memory stick or something, some other better way to fit more memory in the same footprint, I guess. I mean, I'm sure that's a possibility. Good point about the cases, yeah. Cases could screw things up, because, like, you know, oh, dude, I just had something cool happen. All right, well, I saw that scaling, which is good, so that means uh, the real hard Konami customs aren't wrecked. So There's good news there. Yeah, poor little board. Living, living over in Europe, just get taking a beating. Well, realistically, I think it's hardware from 1991. There's always going to be some problem, you know. I, I I can I can pretty much say that almost every board that I've got from that time, anything from 90s and below, is like a crapshoot. You know, there, there's days my my uh, what was it? My uh, life force was just being an absolute bastard out of nowhere, like out of nowhere. And it, and it was just because, you know, then I, I realized there's like a lot of humidity in the house or, you know, I, the, the board is resting on something funny or <laughs> who knows. Oh, these bells, like, I love the bells. I love the concept of it, but man, they're noisy. Shut up. I wanna listen. I wanna listen to this music. Oh, look at this thing. Let's crank this up. Some of that Konami sound. It's like 90s Konami games all sounded like that. They love that orchestra hit. Shit. Okay, that was a bad spot. Ah! We're just cornering through it anyways. <laughs> Cobra Clips in the house. Cobra Clips. Nice, Aquas is in the room. What's going on, man? You did not miss uh, the next game that's coming up. The game, the game you need to see, because you've been hot on that uh, wolf thing. So today, the, the game after this, oh, get out of here, is Skull Fang. I was able to locate a Skull Fang rather cheaply. In fact, the gentleman on Club. Look at this, he's gonna chop it. Chop. Yeah, she's blue. <laughs> Why is she blue?
see it. This board's a little bit defective. Oh, shit. This stuff coming out of the woodwork. Guys coming out of the, the sand. Oh my God. Good. Nose. No. Oh. Get in there. Get my hands. My butt fruit. Music's great. Really like the music. Ugh, this freaking nose is driving me bonkers. Mudai is one of your favorite cute, cute Mouth Plus Alpha. Cute in PS1. Obscure. The obscurity. It's all about the obscurity these days. Oh, die. So the next shmup should be pretty dope. Uh, if you don't know about about uh, Skull Fang, you're about to. Oh my god. There's so much happening. Look at these bats. It's a big old dick spaceship. That's, that's what it looks like to me. I see a dick. I think that's a developer putting a dick in the game. <laughs> Crazy Swayze in the house. What's up, man? Many dicks by the looks of it. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like a dick. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this boss. Oh my god, that is that is pretty brutal. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's cool, like the whole palace collapses. Yeah, see this, there's some some corruption on that background. There. It's like green clouds. <laughs> it shouldn't be green. Oh no. Such a bummer. Good track. Is that? Oh, there's extra twin bees out here. Like the ships. I always forget there's like bad twin bees. There's like bad and good twin bee ships. Ah. Give me it. Bam. Oh, speed down now. Look at that background. Man. Now it wants me to... I really want to work on this thing. <laughs> It's going to go right to the bench after tonight. Ugh. Oh. 
Damn, I can't bomb that guy. Tail shield. Look at this. Oh my god. That's unfair. What the hell? Look at all this. Church. This is unfair. This is garbage. I'm going to do horrible against this boss here. At this point, we're just kind of coining through it just to see if the game fully works. <laughs> I've had two. This is like second board failure today. Holy God, that thing is mad. Yeah, something's it's gonna you got something something off here. Well, we will repair this. We will repair this one. It's probably something really dumb and stupid. I always wanted this twin bee too, because I wanted to collect, you know, both of the both of the twin bees because there's three of them. Uh, you know, it's like there's no way I'm gonna collect the first one. Well, there you go, twin bee. What are you, what are, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Cosmo game, no Cosmo gang, uh, Cosmo game just just shut down. It just reset on me. It's just like I got a couple good games out of it, and then it was like, now you've had enough. Um. Both of these boards, like I said, I have to clean them, I have to play them, um, go through the full testing of them. What do I do with everything? Uh, we'd like to devote this game to Mr. Masato Oshawa. I don't know, what, what, wonder what happened to him. I wonder if he passed away. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I was originally going to do the Blast City tonight, and then... Um, I had some I had some issues with the Blast City too, <laughs> so it's been like, damn it! I have uh, I have all these I have all these damn gremlins happening in the house right now, and I'm like, why? What happened? What happened? All right, we're gonna kill this board here. This is this has been a fun game to mess with. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is one of those one of those weird things. I've had a lot of like just technological gremlins over the last week, and it makes no sense. And the only thing I can really attribute to it is we've had. I've had a lot of, you know, rain and a thunderstorm, a really good thunderstorm. Um, but yeah, something was tripping up in the Blast City for whatever reason. I mean, it's working perfectly with the exception of one of the buttons is is like locked. Okay, so player one and I said this earlier, but like player one, all the player one buttons are held down, but they're not held down. Like every, I, I unplugged everything. Um, so yeah, I, I basically brought it down to this d this controller called a Jamifier, which is like a um, it's a digital controller that sits at the heart of the cabinet that goes to the IO to the buttons uh, and then back out to the capture card slash uh, PCB so like it sits in the middle of everything and handles the power and the whole thing and they're usually pretty darn stable but out of nowhere like it's just it's decided to hold a button and um, so I was scrambling to get all the <laughs> all the uh, PCBs ready, and I'm just like, you know what? We're just using the new ones, because um, like I usually like will receive a board, and then I'll uh, I'll process. There's like a processing time I like to have at least of like one week to like put it on the bench. I look, I'll clean, I'll I'll clean the uh, the Jamma Edge really nice. Um, I'll go through all the pots. I'll check all the caps. Um, you know, I'll take all the ROMs off. I'll I usually use like a little eraser, and you clean the ROMs. Um, so you can like clean all the, you know, clean the sockets with like some, some spray. I look for like cold solder joints. I look for any debris. 
you know, like in between like these little customs, because like sometimes there could be like, um, you know, something that from like who knows where, uh, you know, li little metal shaving sitting between two pins and shorting it. So it could be something as simple as that all the way down to like a resistor or something. So um, slowly you just kind of work your way back um, on the board as you clean them. And then once, you know, they're vetted and clean, then they go in a box and they get stored and they get played on the channel. So there you go, Twin B. Um, got a little bit of work to do. Bells and whistles. Maybe moving on. Can static electricity? Eh, I wouldn't say so, uh, Crazy Swayze, because, like, it's, it's like, humid in the house. So, like, humidity is always good for arcade stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got some glitch gremlins going on for sure. Uh, have I not been paying attention to Egon? It's possible. I don't think, I don't think so. It also could be he's just mad about chairman coming around. You know what I mean? You never know. You could just be mad. So anyways, how is everybody doing? It is a beautiful Tuesday night. You're live and direct from the Pandemicade here, Chicagoland, Illinois. Hanging out with your host, Joel, a.k.a. DJ Psycho M1. And of course, we're here with the ever so cuddly, the ever so fuzzy, the Master Chunk. Oh my God. Oh my God. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Got a lot of good stuff going on tonight because we have yet a third game we're going to be adding up. Now, now he wants to show up here. No, we got to block the chunk. Block the chunk. Come on, chunk. Back to your chair. Third game added tonight. Now, this one I know for a fact is in really great condition. I don't even want to open it up. Um, it comes in a in a cartridge, and it's not a cartridge. It's it says motherless cartridge on it. It is Skullfang by Data East. It looks like a MVS cartridge, but I assure you, it is a pretty big box. Um, there seems to be now, to my understanding, there's two PCBs in here. There's the Data East, like the main JAMA edge here, and then there's like another one that sits on top of it, like a little round board. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to open it because it's sealed. Um, there's like a little reset button here. And it just has a bunch of little, you know, nomenclaturing and information. So what the hell is this? What is this? This is Skullfang. Data East, towards the end of their existence, we're starting to release games in these goofy, goofy little motherless cartridges. And, uh... Yeah, you know, it's funny because, like, after this, Data East didn't really release a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So this was kind of like the last gasp hardware for Data East. Um, these little motherless cartridges. It's basically just like this it's a little clamshell cartridge. There's nothing really special to it. Um, but the game that on here is, and what makes this game special, it is called Skullfang. Now, I already have two of the other games. The other two games are uh, Vapor Trail, which was part one. Part two was Wolf Fang. And three is Skull Fang. All three different hardware options, too. Like, it's Data East's hardware where you have, like, the ultra rare, hard to find, um, you know, like, fragile arcade board, <laughs> you know, variant. They have then. The, uh, the weird ROM-based, you know, two-stack two board variant for uh, Vapor Trail. And then you get this weird contraption, you know. So it's it's kind of funny how, like, the, the, the Fang series of games, uh, the, or the Kohuga, the Koga, Armored, Armored Koga or whatever. Yeah. It's about one Polish head. I agree. Yeah, it's about one Polish head big, you know. How you doing, Succubus City? What's going on? Oh, shit. I just, uh, I just fast forwarded there I was jamming out to that track excuse me all right Skullfang the successor of Wolffang yes Roga Armored Force for some jazz like that right it's like this ridiculous like series that they've had forever but uh I was I already played this I tested it I vetted it it's clean it's ready to go like this is a very good specimen is this goofy little thing and I like it that it just says Skullfang Right on there, yeah. Get this guy wired up. It's a really cool little game. 
This was uh, available on the Sega Saturn. Now, on the Saturn, I wasn't a major fan of it. Um, it was like okay, but I understand the arcade version is, of course, better. So we'll find out. We're good there. Oh man, pardon me for all of this nose messery here, because like I said, it is uh, nose just keeps leaking. And of course, it's like leaking off the front, like not the back, not the sides. It's like. Uh, it's just enough to annoy you. You know what I mean? Oh, stop. Stop. Just stop. Soak it up and move on. Insanity. Skull Fang. Just chill into the stream tonight. Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing all right tonight. Um, yeah. You can, oh, so, so, yeah, go, going back to um, what could harm arcade boards. Well, of course, um, I always try to keep the house's humidity up. Come on. Get out of here. Get. 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 Try to keep the chonk out of the way. Of course, he has to go between the board and me. I'm like, get out of here. What? What do you want? No, you can't go through there anymore. It's blocked. Yes. It's enough. Come on, get. Get out of here. Stop. He keeps doing this circling me, circling me. Go to your damn chair. Come here. Come here, chonk. Come on, chonk. Oh, chonk. Here, have a banana. Have a banana and a Darius fish. There you go. You get your fish. All right, so. Oh, he, I know he loves me. He's just like, man, man, the drip. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? We got we got the skull thing. Let's, let's get the monitor squared away. We'll check this. I expect a, uh, we're gonna have some good, we're gonna have some good tunes in here. We're gonna have some good tunes. We'll see, uh, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be hot, hot, hot. All right. Looks like there's some play notes, which is nice. So we'll check these play notes out. There we go. Current game, Skull Fang. When did this come out? Skull Fang. Data East. What was this 2000? When? Of course, you put a quarter in it, it doesn't help you. Data East. 1996. Okay, so this is 96 hardware. All right, I think that's good. So let's take a look and figure out what the deuce it's trying to tell us. It's given us all sorts of information here about playability of the title, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Lauren Ipsum Della Makatum. I mean, this thing's just like, you stole fizzy lifting drinks. We're gonna have to have the ceiling washed and sterilized. Power-ups, you get nothing. Okay, the circle. Okay, it's telling me all sorts of shit. Hang on, let's let's reboot this. In fact, maybe there's a test mode. No? Oh, there is a test mode. Let's check it out. Game options. We got normal, attract sound. Oh, we want the attract sound. Start button is select start button. Game difficulty easy. Now we're doing medium. Coin options. Maybe we can do. Well, I'll leave it on coin. Sound options. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's all about. They got like a little vo digital volume. That's nice. Uh, IO check. Okay, nice button. Three button game. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Everything works. Um, nice color check. Nice uh, convergence check there. There's initialize and leave it alone. Okay. Data East. Let's crank this up. Let's check this out.
No, that was that was an opening, huh? Yo, thanks for the follows, people. Okay, each weapon features may be changed by auto or manual rapid fight. Yo, I got some follows here. I'll, I'll give you guys a thanks in a second here. Argentina, yeah! What's going on? Welcome. Control your speed with the B button and destroy the boss within the time limit. Damage slows air slows down aircrafts. The overboost by pressing B button rapidly allows you to use speed level to six. Ow, look at that. The S unit allows you to use various special weapons. Just depending on the aircraft, the type of you choose and speed level six all the time. If you keep speed level six for a while, the S unit will change to a hyper unit. Separating the S unit with the C button allows you to what? Thank you. Control your speed with the B button and keep your best position to attack the boss. Interesting. I will give everybody a big thanks as soon as we're done reading this set of instructions. Use barrel roll or bomb with the C button when the charge meter is at max if you near, if you near to crashing. Oh, look at that. Choosing fighter pilot at the select screen allows you to use special moves by combinations of joystick and C button inside the normal barrel. All special moves require use the charge meters at max, the same as the barrel, normal barrel. Oh, so like when you get a max meter, your barrel roll will be doper. Interesting. The circle around the aircraft is a compass. The red marker on the compass shows the direction of the boss, and the three digit meter shows the distance between the boss. Oh shit! So I actually gotta slow down and speed up to catch the boss. That's cool. Also, oh, he's changing the speed with the B button. Use back thrust by half. Circle downward plus C when the boss attacks from your behind and it has a weak point. Wait, what? C button plus circle. What? What just happened? I'm looking at the little button. Oh shit, so I can like turn my ship around. Okay, B button slows it down. Use side thrust, quarter circle downward and C button when the boss approaches you from the side. Quarter circle. I saw that. It was like, it was like, it was like a, it was like a Hadouken with the C button. This is wild. Okay, the B button slows and speeds us up. Use air brakes by down and C button when you let the boss go past you to move from behind. After the air brakes, use the over boost from the bottom speed to overtake the boss. What? Holy shit. Can I just play the game? Okay, so he's pressing the C button and down. B button, B button, B button. Oh, tap, 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 tap to speed up. Oh. Attack with the A. Use high ion shield right, left, C button when you crash into the boss, giving it a final blow. What? Right, left, and C button. Master these special moves for more exciting play. This is wild. I've never heard, I've never seen that before. Holy crap, I need, I saw all these follows. I was trying to read this huge manual of, 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 of a game here. I need to say huge thanks for the follows. Uh, P. Prina, the night clerk. Night, na, na, nin na nin tin tin, and King Mamamu. Thank you so much for the follow. And he says, uh, greetings from Argentina. Good to see you. That's really awesome. South America represents? 
insane mechanics, right? It's a lot to remember. These instructions will make sense in about an hour of play, right? There's a lot to this shmup. I'm kind of impressed, right? Ever want to play a shmup like Beyond Oasis? I was like a, a command input special. It's like, this is nuts. This is nuts. So for those that have just joined us, welcome to my little arcade here. Be this is live and direct from the pandemic in Chicagoland, Illinois, where we have a huge collection of arcade boards, cabinets, uh, friends, and everybody that comes by to play these amazing games. And that's what we do here on this channel. My name is Joel, AKA DJ Psycho M1, and we're here with the Master Chonk, who is not here, the Shmup Cat. He's got it, he left his banana. He's left his fish. He might make a comeback if we get lucky. <laughs> the good old shmup cat. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. It feels like a pop quiz, right? All right, let's 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 rip into this game. So let me reset my scaler and make sure we got real good color and we'll get this started. Skullfang. Insane mechanics. I see that fish. I see that fish, Aquas. Here we go, here we go. Uh, oh, I have to put in quarters. <laughs> you put in the... Ah, uh, no speed control. Look at that. You can turn that off. Oh, you can turn off that shit with the auto mode. So we'll try it in auto, and then we'll try it with the chase mode. So A and B are shot, Select your fight. and then I get a barrel roll. Go A10. Oh, no, I like this guy. He's kind of even the sylph, too. Living in a 1980s kid's street. Absolutely. Rocks quick 3X. How you doing? Fair witness in the house. How you doing as well? Choose your pilot with a joystick button. Fighter pilot can choose barrel roll with the C button when the charge is max. Bomber pilot can use the bomb with C button when the charge meter is at max. Okay, I said it. Fighter pilot, bomber pilot, bomber pilot. Yeah, we're going with the green. I get it. So not only do you choose a ship with... Now receiving orders from Central Headquarters. Now receiving enemy transmission from Sky Eye. So, there's so much to this. I love that. You can select the, the ship and the pilot. That Vulcan. Nope. Whoa! That that sweet music from the from from the series, Vapor Trail and Wolfang. Oh my God! That's an annoying, very annoying, uh, very annoying weapon. I don't like it. It's got to go. I want. Give me that Vulcan. Give me the Vulcan. Give me it. This. Whoa. A thunderbolt. A heavy gold bang. Enemy squadron ahead. Be careful. Like, 
it shows what's happening with the boss, like when you're when you're chasing it. Oh my god! What an explosion! <laughs> Auto credits. It's a wild and loud game. This is also on Saturn. That's correct. Yeah, I'm trying to live the 80s dream if I can, you know, like, you know, in all honesty, when I was growing up, I always wanted an arcade like the kid, like that kid's, uh, was it like his uncle Sil on Silver Spoons? Listen to this. Look at this! So cool. like little skulls. That thing just dropped a bunch of skulls. Holy crap! Like diving into the background. I didn't Thunderwolf. Ex Attention. Skull Fang. I didn't expect that. Ahead. Be careful. Ugh. Down. It's like opening up. No oh, shit! <laughs> no. Oh my god. Ah. What a dodge. No! <laughs> what a fun game. All right, we're going with the A10. And we're going to do the, the bomber. The blue bomber. Oh, look at this. His weapons are different, too. Holy shit. Attack on this thing, it's awesome. Oh, and those things drop like little wolves. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna crack in half. Yeah, and it tumbles. That was awesome. Is a lot like vapor. This is super fun. <laughs> Most calls, call bang. Good job. Yeah. Let's go, Skull Fang. Holy crap. Love these 3D backgrounds, but they're made with sprites. So cool. Give me this. Oh my god, this laser. What a loud 
game. These backgrounds are so cool. Medallions coming in. These like wolf medallions, they're, they're tripping me out. Okay, let's try the fighter pilot. Get thunder. Okay. Go back. Enemy squadron ahead. I die there. This is a bullet sponge. Kill it in time, it kicks you out. Yeah, this is this is nuts. The freaking attack on this thing. What people say about the real A ten? <laughs> I know. This is freaking awesome. Whoa. Oh, that's garbage. So don't touch those things. Great soundtrack. Ah. 
Oh my god. The bullets are kind of cheap. Some of the enemies are just cheap. I'm not a fan of like how these enemies just kind of materialize in front of you. No. I need that. Oh my god. I wanted the super unit. Yeah, the A10. The A10 has got that killer attack. I do like this this like pilot system where like each of the pilots has like a different like a different attack type, which I think is great. Let's try to see. Give me it. Oh my god. Cluster bullet. It's also cool how they have like the shadow of your plane it on the clouds. Attention, Skull Fang. Enemy squadron ahead. Be careful. Oh no. Uh oh. You know, it's bad news when it turns into a robot. Oh my god, I didn't see those bullets. Oh my god. Go with the Sif. Oh my god, those things like suck you in. Oh, I don't like those. Oh my god, they like suck you in. Yeah, look at these missiles. These might be the best missiles. Oh, look at these missiles putting in work. Oh, sh a surprise! It has a, it's like an electric beam thing. That sucks. I want those missiles back. Yeah. They're doing like no damage to them too. To his original boss pattern. I'll scrap you. I'll grab you. Oh my god. god the bosses are just like bullet sponges. Ah, oh, that's dirty. Just like Wolf Fang, like what the, the enemies would talk to you. They tell you, they tell you, they'll, they'll hurt you somehow or whatever. Oh, scrap you! Oh, that's so dirty. That lightning attack is garbage. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to dodge that? That's some shit. Yeah, that lightning attack is hot garbage. <laughs> hot garbage. I probably need to be using the dodge, which I'm not using. Defense is destroyed. Mission abort. And I like that you can you can not kill the boss. So 
knowing these games and how they work, most likely there's probably multiple en endings to this too. If you kill all the bosses or don't. That's what I'm curious about. The last games had multiple endings too. It does have a raid in vibe a little bit. Kind of digging like, whoa, look at that. There's like a like a waterfall. Oh my god. Don't shoot at those. Music is great. It's a very loud game though. I wish the sound effects were a little just a hair quieter. You can really enjoy the game a lot, I think, when you have the missiles. Because they're not so loud. They're not so, like, obnoxious. Oh, and it's got that cool system where, like, so the power-ups, you can shoot them, and it'll change the power-up type. If you keep shooting it, eventually it will detonate. I want that freaking yeah. This is the, we're bringing back this thing. Yeah. Give it, give it. See those medals? It's like there's there's like scoring opportunities for medals. I think that's kind of cool. I'm sure there's others for bosses. Like there's. There's got to be like some secret stuff for bosses. It's Thunderwolf. Attention, Skullfang. Enemy squadron ahead. Be careful. Oh, here comes another bullet sponge. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. See if we can blow this thing up. Yeah. Oh, that messed it up good. Second piece. Concentrate. Be careful. Enemy squadron to the rear. Whoa! Oh. It's got those cool laser sounds. Oh my god. Concentrate. Be careful. Enemy squadron to the rear. Oh, I tried to cross. <laughs> I got greedy. It just keeps getting behind it in front of you. What a dirtbag. Come on. Ow! <laughs> those lasers, those electric beams. I just want to kill a boss already. Concentrate. Yes. I know. Water into the rear. Okay, we're going to go this way. Ah. <laughs> oh god, it was it was gone! That was hot garbage. Back with the old A10. Boy, unless you have like the, the super fire bomb, like you ain't doing anything though, boss. Concentrate. Be careful. Enemy squadron to the rear. Whoa. 
Oh, time. Oh, we got away. Come on. This is garbage. I can't kill a boss for the life of me. Yeah, the boss music is pretty exciting. I agree. So they're like Frostman from Mega Mate, and then he's all like, I'm going to crush you. I'm going to beat you. Yes, yes, yes. It'd be very hard for this game to have memorable music, good or bad. Is that fun? Yeah, that's, it's just not balanced right. It's kind of a bummer, because the music is really good. I wonder if there's maybe some balance options in the uh, in the uh, the BIOS. Like that laser is just outrageous. Oh my god. Whoa! That was weird. I was shooting that. When you shoot that thing, you get like major points. Oh my god. Holy shit! The screen is exploding! I wanna try... After this is done, we gotta try the non-auto mode to see what this game's really about. Great music behind all that noise. Such a disappointment. like the, the boss is constantly ramming into you like you know you have to you have to maneuver with the bosses I guess but I'd have to give it a try in the non-auto mode I'm blowing through quarters right now it's pretty rough for the bomber plant Bio bomber blue bomber in the uh, a10 is where it's at I think oh shit Look at that. Get wrecked. Ah, he's throwing those things out. Unfair. Unfair. So those those blue balls like go wah, wah. when they go through they suck your they suck your plane towards it. So whatever bullets they fire, it sucks you into those bullets. That's rough. Of course, now you get invincible when I get the super. Oh, what the? Blow this up. Didn't do anything. Oh, the maneuver didn't do anything either. I was hoping to use a maneuver. You, you land the maneuver, and then I hit the C button, and, and like, it should give you invincibility, and it didn't do anything. That was a bummer. I need to understand the systems of this game, man. This is... Oh. Boy, that bomb is crazy. That... God. 
All these bosses on normal are bullet sponges. Oh, shit. I'm just blowing through credits here. Blue Bomber back in the house. Let's take all this shit. Oh. And that's behind you again, you know? It's like... Come on, I just want to destroy this thing. Die, 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 die. Yeah, look at it blow up. Yeah. The bullets have their own gra- Yeah, they do have their own gravitation, of course. Yeah, it has the same uh, frost man voice. Okay, Skullfang, mission accomplished. Ow. Thanks to you, the Lagnalok squadron was destroyed. Central headquarters says we're clear to go home. Good job, Skullfang. See you back at the base. Congratulations. Hi, Blue Fruit. We're clear for takeoff. Fifteen quarters split, get, getting to where I needed to get. Wow, that's pretty. It's a pretty rough game. Lots going on, I can tell you that for sure. Like, I like that there's like the zooming in, the zooming out. Um, the weird thing is, is like, yes, it feels a lot like, uh, it feels a lot like uh, Vapor Trail for sure. Like, it's a very Vapor Trail game. I, I honestly, I like this a little bit more than Vapor Trail. Um, all of that ridiculousness with like, the speeding up and slowing down. I'm really curious to know how that works. We're gonna we're gonna turn those options on um, and just see what we can do there. It's a cool game though. I like where like there's that thing where we're just like we're we're doing barrel rolls as we're attacking and like you see you see all of the background like completely shift like where you're going sideways. You know like the buildings are like. Sideways, upside down. I think that's really cool. Not a lot of shmups do that. Um, the only two I can think of is, well, this one and, uh, of all the things, Twin B Yahoo on the System GX. Konami System GX. Okay. Do we get, like, updated stuff? Or this is, that's all we get. We get a picture. We get a picture for winning the game. That's what we get. We get a picture. <laughs> All right, let's blow through these four credits in the chase mode. Now, this is the controlling the speed with the B button, destroying the boss in the time limit. Shot, and then we have a throttle, and then the barrel roll bomb is C. So um, this is where we start using the special moves where, like, the half circle C will give us, like, we can, we can turn our ship around and all sorts of stuff. So this is going to be interesting. It's got the ship from Vapor Trail, which is cool. In fact, I'm gonna do the classic fighter pilot. Yes. The Skull Fang mission is to break through the Lagnalock front line and apprehend as many agents as possible. Now we keep Yeah, the, the laser fire appears to go through the boss is not satisfying. I agree, where it just flashes the boss, it doesn't like connect to it and you see it land on it and create like a beam. Yeah. Okay, let's see. If Oh, look at, what? I could spin my ship around? Get out of here. Okay, hold up. Check that. Check this out. We're gonna speed it up. Okay, so that's like slow speed. Let's get the Vulcan. I want the Vulcan, give me. So look at this. I was like doing. Uh, I, I, I think I wasted my, my beam. So we're gonna speed it up to two. So we're like moving faster now. Speed it up to three, four, five. And I think if I slam on the button, like beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it brings us to six. Okay, that's cool. Oh shit. So much going on right now. 
detonated that bomb. Give me that. Oh, that was dirty. It was like right in the enemy. So we're gonna slow it down. Be careful. So now I'm, I'm gonna go slow now. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so the enemy's right there, right? Let's speed up. Speed up again. So I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna turn my ship around. Oh, I can't do it. How do I? Okay. Oh, that's cool. I want to slow down. I'm trying to do the, the slow down. All right, so now we're slowing down with the B. Speed up a little bit more. Not gonna lie, I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. Like, like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pace the boss a little bit. Like, like what, what speed is the boss flying at? And I did like where I could turn the ship around, but I couldn't do it again. Like, I couldn't figure it out. I wanna, I wanna spin around. That was the dream back in the day. Like every kid wanted to be a fighter pilot. Oh my god, I was the same way. Like I, I loved watching Airwolf. You guys remember Airwolf, the freaking theme song to Airwolf? Dude, that that was, that was. Where it started with that heavy synth, that do 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 Man, Airwolf. I loved that. I think that was one of the best damn themes for a show ever. It's a shame there are no shows with that type of good music out here anymore. Ugh. It's so good. Oh, look at this. Once again, like, look at this. I love that. Okay, let's speed up. Gimme. Yes. Get wrecked. I love this, like, flying sideways thing. Like, we're in... That's just so cool. Awesome. Enemy squadron ahead. Be careful. I wonder what that was. And like my ship was like, 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 like electrical. Holy crap! Speed it up. Let's see if we, let's see if we can turn it around. There we are. Yeah, we turned it around. We did it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Those those flying mines are garbage. Speed it up. Oh my god. Yeah, I think the speed up mechanic, you gotta play the game with it. Now it makes sense why. There's way more stuff in it in this game. Like, if you just play it by itself in auto mode, I don't think you're gonna enjoy it. Like, this is this is pretty rad. Like, there's some depth here. It's like chunks coming off of it. Whoa. I made it 
through there. The charge is happening. You got it. Yeah. And I love that you can like hammer on the beat button and then your ship just like takes off just like goodbye. Thunderblade was your go-to arcade game. Oh my god, yeah. Mission accomplished. Well, there was Thunderblade was like a ripoff of Blue Thunder, wasn't it? Didn't didn't Sega like take a snapshot from Blue Thunder and use that as like for Thunderblade? Cuz that was a movie Blue Thunder. It was like that It was that chopper. It was like back in the back in the 80s like for whatever reason like helicopters were so you know, they were exotic for everybody to have like a chopper. You know, so like there was always a chopper chasing somebody. You know, the bad guys always had a chopper. And of course, like like the craziest pilots are flying those choppers too. You know, so they're like following people down like the streets. It's like no no self-respecting chopper pilot is gonna be chasing anybody with a frickin' <laughs> frickin' chopper. Like it's just not gonna happen. You're not chasing people. Okay, getting through there was ass. I see what you had to do, though. Man, this is this is pretty rad. Oh shit, there's a charge mechanic. Excuse me, I can hold that in. Oh hello. Okay, so I could like spin shit. Well, that changes the game a little bit. So if I hold down this, bye. That power is where it's at. That, this power up here, whatever this is. Oh, look at it. Look how many points you can pull. Oh, you can destroy those too, those metals. Be careful. So there's like a scoring mechanic there too. Slow it down. Speed it up. Slow it down. Oh, I, I tried to do the turnaround. I want to do the turnaround. Uh, yeah. That was dirty. He like popped me. All right, we're down to our last credits. I do feel the game is different out of auto mode though. Like it's auto mode kind of just makes it me. But I see what they were doing. Like, they were trying to make stuff like this happen. Like, how cool is that? No shmup I know allows you to do that. Like, let's spin the ship around. I know there's shmups out there that allow you to do, like, speed increases and stuff, but usually it's just for, like, your ship. But it never really affected, like, you chasing down a boss, which is really cool. Oh, my God. I really like that mechanic. I think that's pretty neat. It keeps you busy. Ooh, it's like barf laser. Get out of here. Oh my god, it just crapped on me. All right, final guy. We're going with the 810. Blue pilot. Yeah, that barf laser is the worst. Very cool. Yeah, look at it go. Beating the bosses is very satisfying. Like, look at that. You get to watch them, like, crumble and burn and crash. And I like that. Good, satisfying explosions. Mac Dynamite in the house. You know about that, Airwolf. Mission accomplished. 
There's an Airwolf PCB and it says sometimes works. I don't, you know, I, I know that there was an Airwolf game for arcade. I don't know if it's any good. You know, I just noticed in the upper corner is a time. There's a clock. Interesting. Oh, no! These things are garbage. Oh, my God. If you hold down the laser... There's a life up here. Let's get it. Yeah. If you hold down the laser, you get triple shot. But it's like a... Oh, get out of here. Look at that. These enemies coming up from behind you once again, like... That materialization is just so rough. Oh my god! Okay, that's dirty. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Give me this. You can't tell like where the planes are gonna show up on the on the screen. So they, you know, before they get a, before you get a chance to really lock onto them and kill them. They tend to shoot a bullet before they, you know, before you can kill it. I don't like that. <laughs> That's pretty rough. So you got to get used to, you know, when they show up, and then you got to have that bullet on them at the time they're there. Like versus like, you know, like thinking of a classic toe playing game. If it's on the screen, you can shoot it. But in this game, if it's flashing, you can't kill it until it is on the screen. So like, and you're moving at the same time. So. Oh, that's cool. You get you get a bad ending if you die. Yeah, destroy Earth. Yeah. God damn it. The music is so good and it's like drown out. Jag. Look at this. Lock on Jag. You can tell that they were looking at arcade games at the time. Let's go to let's go to the, the the sound options. Maybe there's like a mix. There isn't. Oh, is that a disappointment? At least you got the the background music. Let's check out some of the background music. We only got one. Yeah, let's crank this. Yeah. The Skull Fang mission is to break through the Lagnalock front line and apprehend as many agents as possible. Good luck. Here is your next mission. Now receiving enemy transmissions from Sky Eyes. Select <laughs> your fighter. That's nice. Select pilot and co-pilot. That voice is super clear, right? It's Thunderwolf. Attention, Skull Fang. Now receiving orders from Central Headquarters. Enemy is outrunning you. Speed up. Enemy is dropping speed. Slow down. Enemy mine area ahead. Wow. Concentrate. Yeah, I, I haven't heard any of this. You can't hear because the freaking sound effects are so loud. Be careful. Enemy squadron ahead. Distance. Enemy squadron front defense line. Broken. Secondary de tertiary final enemy. One, two o'clock. Six, enemy eight, say? eight, twelve. Dick, oh, good night. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sent good. Congrats. Don't. Ah! The skull thing. Oh, wow, that's a straight. lot of voices. Ah! <laughs> Don't worry about us. You're clear for takeoff. Ah! 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 The skull thing. Good luck. That's a lot of voices. Yeah, you know, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. I got this. I actually got this game pretty cheap. I'm not mad at it. Uh, you know, it, it completes it completes my trifecta of uh, of, uh, of of all the Skull Fang games. Oh, well, there's Skull Fang, there's Wolf Fang, and there's Vapor Trail. You know, <laughs> the guy going ah. All right. Music is great. Um, I'm definitely coming back to it. You know, we'll we'll do all three of the all three of the games in a row. I think we'll do. Listen to that. God, 
God, the, the music is great. It's so good. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know, man. I, Skullfang. It makes me wonder. I'll scrap you. <laughs> I love that. I'll scrap you. I wonder why a voice is not in voice test code, though. Skullfang. I, I want to make that a, a sound trigger. I'll scrap you. And also the one that guy going, the, this guy going. <laughs> it's it's cool. Neat game. Neat neat game. That is Skull Fang by Data East. We have. We have we have definitely put some beans to this one. I mean. What an attract mode. Like, you got all sorts of ridiculousness going on. You got, uh, you know what's even kind of surprising is you have the names of the developers, bam, like right in the front. You'd expect this, you'd expect that to happen at the end of the game. You know, and also on top of it, they wouldn't even have their full names. You know, they would have somebody like, I don't know, H Hibachi Man, you know, or... Or, or Canon Da or something like just weird names like there's full on names of dudes in here that makes a big deal like take a look at this I mean yeah you got Maro maybe because he was doing different stuff for like other arcade guys at the time yeah it's that's that's very odd that that, that this game starts out with the developer is right on the main screen. Look at Steve Miller helped with the English support. Oh my god. <laughs> Why Voos? Thank you. Thank you for that gift sub to Crazy Swayze. I think we got time for one more. So yeah. Yeah, Wolfang had the credits in the intro too, so like you can kind of tell like um, they were they were they were caring about their peeps, you know they were they were taking care of their peeps. Um, oh boy, that is a thick jamma edge on this guy. That is a real thick jamma edge. I almost didn't want to come off. Yeah, this is. I mean, there you go. You got the motherless cartridge here, the motherless cartridge. That's what it says, M-A-C, right there. It says motherless cartridge. I don't know. Go figure. All right, I got, like, maybe one more in me, and then I got to go because uh, I am wiped, and I am tired, and waifus, you're too good to me. Crazy, crazy Swayze, now you can use all those sweet chonk emotes. We got the move. Everybody likes the move and the button. Everybody's got those. So, yeah, everybody's been hanging out with us. Thank you so much for chilling. My name is Joel. You're live and direct. Live and direct from Chicagoland in my little home arcade. Playing some games. Here comes the chunk. He's making his way. He's making his way back. He's making his way. All right. So what are we going to play now? Speaking of Sonic Wings, you totally forgot Sonic Wings Special. Was another name you need to get? Another game you need to get? Yes. Everybody likes the chunky motes, yes. You love seeing the Night Striker cabinet? Yeah, I do too. Uh I've been I've been keeping that thing running really nice, man. I got it that thing's tuned perfectly now. Um corner to corner, the analog controls are perfect. I just got them nice and crispy, clean. You could do everything with that game. It's perfect now. So now I gotta um I have a board, and I'm, I'm working on getting the uh, RGB out of it and the audio, and we can stream from it. So that's the plan, is, is hopefully by July. Um, you know, once, once things start to, s to slow down, I'll be able to do that. Um, of course, it's just getting all the damn parts. So, All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to find a game. I don't know what we're going to play. I don't. Because I'm actually out of games that I selected for today. Uh, although, we do have the Namco System 1. 
Um, throw something fun in there. Let's see. Let's go to let's go to the collection on the wall. So I have a big old wall over here full of stuff. Um, you know what we'll do? We're gonna do this one more time. I got a good idea. I got a good idea. Because I did promise the CPS one tonight. And I already know I streamed this game before. But why the hell not? We'll do it again. One more time. At least until we get the blast up and running by this weekend. Uh, and then we'll be able to do all of the CPS one games. And hopefully we'll have, uh, have my uh, special guests so what we have in my hands here is something I, I streamed this on Saturday. Um, I was an antibiotics, uh, antibiotics that Saturday. It was great. Like, I had to quarantine myself, so I'm just like, I spent all day with this damn thing. The CPS-1 Multi. Brand new piece of equipment from Dark Soft and Friends. Uh, you take an original CPS-1 uh, board, you put this extra board on top, and then you turn it into a CPS-1.5, which is really awesome. And then you can change all the games using this little controller okay um all i can say right now about this thing is i absolutely i love I, I absolutely love it and it's it's a beautiful piece of kit um we're gonna play some varth i think varth will be the final game again because i played varth varth i didn't expect varth would be that good and the more i started playing varth i was like holy crap this game's great and the music was playing. I was like, wow, this is great. Um, really cool stuff. And when I played Varth, I was like, we're going to check this out again. Excuse me. Uh, we fired up now. It's probably going to end up being because I was testing it out. So, like, for example, whatever you flashed it to before, um, it, will, it will pull up, of course, the game that you had. Now, before I had um, uh, uh, Final Fight. I was playing Final Fight, so I'd like to come back, and when I cover this, I want to do two players. Uh, just because, I, you know, these games deserve two players. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to cover them with that. Um, but yeah, Varth is great. So I'm going to select Varth from the selector here, which is this little guy. And you'll see what it looks like when we flash it. Um, there are two... See, the United States. We're going to go with the world version, 1992. Boop. And then it does a flashy race, and it starts to it starts to kind of crunch away. And then on the little flash screen, it says what's happening. So, yeah. I apologize. Again, I wanted to have my blast running today, but what are we going to do? I have, I have all the gremlins in the house right now. Nothing makes sense either. Like, um, I used to do this thing where I can yell at my house and find my phone, and like that dropped off. Uh, my thermostat stopped connecting to my Wi Fi for whatever freaking reason. I don't understand this. Um, one of my security cameras went like really goofy. I was trying to figure that out. Uh, the Blast City with these two, this weird control situation. Um, Again, the twin bee that showed up. That's weird. So, like, there's, like, there's more. There's other things, too. There, I'm just, like, the hell? The hell? Oh, my God. Yeah, counterattack. I, I don't know if I like counterattack so much. I thought Varth was, uh, Varth was top tier for me. Varth was top tier. And look at this. I did nothing. All I did was select the game. It cleared the memory. It reloaded the game. And it resets the system, which is really great. It does everything automatically for you. Oh my god, yeah, we got ghouls and ghosts too. 1992, this game. 1992. Wow. Good capture right there. I think that looks solid. Let's kind of center that up. Yeah, once again, I apologize. I, I was going to have all of this tonight, but... Whatever. It's not like there's other streamers out there who will also have the kit too, but uh, I know everybody comes in for my brand of, of humor. Hopefully you do. <laughs> the screen looks dark. Yeah, it does. So we're going to make an adjustment to that. 
Yeah, we can crank it up all the way to... I think that looks nice and crisp. How about that? How about that? I think that's that's much better. Huh, Hater Shack? <laughs> it's exactly what I was saying. It's like, it just reminded me of just like... Hey, Hail John, what's going on? How you doing? We're about to check out the the CPS1 Multi on this uh, beautiful Tuesday here. You're playing Vart, so you're not complaining much better? Thank you. Good to hear. Let me get some water in me, and then we'll get this game started. Um, oh, and I need to fix my monitor so I can see what's going on because this is a little bit off and a little dark on my side, too. There we are. That's nice looking. Let's spread her out. Spread her out. But, uh, yeah, the last time I played this, uh, like I said, Saturday, never touched this game ever in my life. Um, and and then I just started messing with it, and I'm like, wow. And then, wow. And then the music, and then the gameplay. And, and then I just fell in love. And I'm like, wow, well then, F it. We'll play it again. <laughs> and it's Tuesday. You remember this game when you're young? You're young. It reminds you of 1942. Yeah, it kind of does. I would say this almost reminds me a lot of like P47 Aces slash like Battle Garega. There's shades of Garega in here. Uh, like the more I started really playing, I was like, just damn. You can see the pods. They got pods. Wide attack. Look at that. There's a lot going on here. You know a game's serious is when you put a quarter in and it goes, you know it's business. I'm probably going to put in about six quarters or so, and then we're going to finish it off. Um, i got to be up early, unfortunately, people. Uh, not too, so, yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of 1942. So I like the fixed pots. I don't like the reacting to the bullets at all. The music in this is what really got me. I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. it was so good. And we're getting into it right now again. It's a bass on it. All right. Get, get, get into the speed. Right. I got to get into the speed. There we go. Now we're good. work of that guy. Yeah, Venom Blaze, play this on Mister. This is super dope. You let the boss escape and the game ends. Super fun. I like that it's got an auto fire too. But then of course with the mister you got that auto fire as well. Now you don't want that laser. I didn't want that laser. I think the laser's garbage. The the spread fire is where it's at. Or the missiles. Oh, 
I didn't see that dude come from behind. Oh, power up. Let's clear up the screen and get moving. All right, this is it. I need to, I need to flutter my shots here. The auto fire is not overly effective. I think you get better, you get, you get better, you get better mileage with your the flutter shot. Oh no! Why is that rough? Wait a second, are we in a different spot? This is weird. We were fighting like all sorts of other stuff before. Power up. Right, I need that spread shot. Napalm. Okay. I really enjoy this game. I thought this was this is stellar. Uh, killer app for me. And here's me. I, I passed up on so many Barth boards. I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. What do I feel dumb? Just get yourself a good arcade stick for this one, or at least an auto fire. <laughs> I mean, that if you hold it down, and then it and then it'll stop. Twin twins win again. Oh God, we're back with the twins, huh? We're back with we're back with the twins. The twins chat. Yeah, Sox have been doing had a shit start to their season themselves, but they're getting better. Oh my god, that stuff that they did in New York. They humiliated New York. That was great. Power up. Scumbag Yankees. Almost started a fight with the Yankees. I mean, come on. Although. Yeah, hot socks are heating up. I know the twin Twinkies. Twinkies are always there, man. Like scumbag Twinkies. <laughs> I'm overdue to go to a baseball game already. It is that time of the season. And now we can finally like tailgate again. that power up but it's like just out of reach oh, get out of here oh my god tanks are just coming out of the woodwork this whiny sound is so cool nothing sounds like it Nothing sounds like arcade hardware, man. Whoa! Did you see that? There's a little Ryu! Ha! That was awesome! Please tell me somebody saw that shit. Power up. Straight up does a dragon punch and gives you like it gives you bonuses. That was awesome. Okay, this this is where now. Oh my god. Oh, 
there's a glitch there. Oh, there's there's a pop, like a power up or something. Bonus. Bonus. Sink and die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, we got that dude down. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if Ken is in here too. That was that was great. That made my day. A little Ryu, good. It's like yeah, a little, little, little Ryu in there. I don't like that. That one right there. That um, that power up is junk too to me. I think the spread shot's where it's at. Yo, we get a foul. I'll check that in a second. There's so many bullets coming at me right now. Just thumbing it out. Oh, no, I knew that was coming. Ben Ground Steak, what's going on? I'm probably butchering your name right now. I'm just reading it very quickly. Oh no! What the hell happened? Oh shit! What am I hitting? Oh, been drowned in sake. <laughs> Been drowned in sake, yeah. I like sake. I haven't had it in a while, though. He said these amazing uh, student aides. These student aides would always take me out. And we go to the, the Japanese place and we'd get some ridiculous sake, and they'd always give it to me for Christmas. My buddy Duzo. I miss that guy. <laughs> ben Brown in Sake. I like that. That's funny. Drowning in Sake. Speaking of Sake, you once tried a Tokyo Mule. Basically a mule made with Sake, but instead raspberry. Instead of cucumber. Ow. That sounds interesting. Although it makes sense. Because like I could see I could see the flavor profile. That's probably like a that's like a bitter, like it's like you're drinking a salad, I guess. Maybe. But because sake is kind of a a smooth you know, it's, it's not like wine wine. It's kind of hard to think of like what sake really tastes like to me. Uh, oh, there's like a little race car. It was like an upgrade. That was interesting. It's like this little race car coming at me. I was like, oh, I'll get that. It's like 100,000 points. I'm trying to think like what sake really tastes like. Like what? I don't want to say socks, because some sake does taste like socks. I mean, I don't know that. Not, not that I'm tasting socks on a regular basis, but it's like the smell of socks. Really good sake is like ultra refreshing. is kind of interesting. It was like the big bottle. We used to go to Tensu Tensuke Market and get a get a big old bottle of sake. It's a real good uh, Japanese market near us. On my way back from work, my coworker 
Coworker Mr. Cola told me all about Tensuke. And uh I've been going there. Going there since he told me when I get a chance to go. It's got nothing to do with socks. Good sake has nothing to do with yes. That's what I'm saying, like some sake, like like cheap sake, it just I don't know. It just it just tastes like the smell of socks. Does that sound weird? God. Just trying to creep in here. Because like, it's not like white wine. Like, you can't taste grapes. It's, it's like a muted wine flavor. You know, you, you taste the fermentation. I think, it, I think the fermentation in sake tends to be a little bit more pronounced than it is in, like, than grapes. But that's, that's my personal taste. I, I have horrible flavor profile. Let's be honest. Like, Horrible flavor profiles. Nicely chills, unfiltered. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the, the unfiltered stuff. It's pretty rad. Power up. You'd never eat sake? Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'm sure you shouldn't want to do that. Speaking of, okay, so we already talked about that. Just going through all the chat here. Power up. Yeah, I voluntarily drink Malort, right. You know nothing about Malort. Well, do yourself a favor. Just look up on YouTube what what Malort is, or just people drinking it. Uh, oh, what the what the deuce was that? I guess those weapon pots can only take so much. Maybe I ate a made, ate a missile. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. I'm just letting myself get roasted by that by that engine. Dumbass. Trying to keep up with all the hot sake chat. Take this thing out. Drop a bomb. Break its butt. Stay away from it. Farting. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, the chunk is back. Stop it. Stop it, nose. You think a good time to start running? Die! Holy God, does this thing take a lot of bullets. Now, this is why I gotta stop, because now it's... <laughs> Now my nose is like, hey, it's time to flush. I'm like, no, I don't want to. Can't be worse than absinthe. You know, absinthe? You know what absinthe tastes like to me? It's, absinthe tastes like uh, licorice. Like, like absinthe and Sambuca are, might as well just be the same thing. I think I think that absinthe is kind of like it's just stupid. There's a bunch of people thinking like they're gonna go mad drinking it or whatever. I'm like, no, you're not. They're not gonna make the same warm word shit like they used to. Like, there's no way. I think they're just running the you know running the oh, what's his name went mad drinking it. I'm like, no, it's just it's just shitty stuff. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of absinthe. I mean, I tried it. I did the thing with the sugar cube, you know. And there's like a whole like process to it. You know, you, you get the sugar cube and it like drips and 
You have to sit and wait to drink the goddamn thing. And, and like, they have this, like, exotic apparatus for, like, absinthe to come down and stuff, and I'm like, this sucks. Just give me a shot of the goddamn shit and let's go. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I thought, I thought absinthe is just trash. I mean, it's, it's not what, it's not what people are, char it's not worth what people are charging, that's for sure. Yeah, I remember going to the bars and, you know, they had the absinthe thing, the whole thing. You know, it's like this thing and it spins around, it's like a, and it drips. And there's this, you know, they're, they're, they're running it like, like they're making like some sort of custom cocktail. I'm like, I don't know what to say about it. Great track right here. Power up. Shit. Ugh, nose. We got two credits to go. I think that's why I'm going to probably end it up. Unfortunately, I hate to say it. That uh, what's its name? Does it go? Does it go as fast as the regular? Uh, go bombs and chase bombs. Right. Sounds like a full screen clearing bomb. Oh, little sidearms, guys! Look at it. There he is. And he clears the screen. That's rad. the most turbo graphic sounding soundtrack right here that sounds like i don't know for, for me that just sounds like like i don't know it's got like a turbo graphic sound to it to me Why? What are you doing? Ow. Ow. Oh, that means I gotta flush it. Ouch. Power uh, up. It's like the worst. I love that where you destroy the tank and you can see like the turret go flying. Kind of like those Russian tanks. T, oh, like the T series tanks where they're hitting and uh, watching those things blow up. That, that's my favorite. Watching all those turrets all pop. And they're hitting them with those ATGMs. Ah! Oh. The wargasm going on. Game can't keep up. I'm trying to keep the bullet counts on the on the on the screen to keep this. Oh no, the stupid flamethrower got me in slow motion. Damn it! Lost my spread. God, what a game!
laudanum. It's an opiate tincture that was melted in the absinthe on the sugar cube. Probably why the guy went mad, mad as fuck. That's what I was saying. Like, there was something else that they were doing with the all absinthe right. back in the day. And I know they do the thing with the sugar cube and all that, but like, I know there's no way, no way they're gonna allow people to have that stuff. Laudanum. Yeah, it's like 10% morphine, no shit. Talking about hot sake, I, I do like hot sake. Uh, big fan of hot sake. I've had it, I, I mean, cold and crisp is one thing, but I've always been told to drink sake warm. Those lasers. Let's take out those damn lasers. And these weapon pods are doing what they're supposed to do. All right, that's it. Get in there. Get in now! Oh, I thought I was dead. It's a lot of work. thing I do like about this game, I like that your weapon pods uh, basically just, I mean, and, and your weapon pods, your, uh, your bombs just regenerate. Goodbye. Does nothing but make your hangover worse without the lot. Oh, no shit. Yeah, I gotta read into the whole concept of it, you know, but... At least the stuff that I've had out of the bottle, like, I've been told was like, oh, it's the real deal, and, you know, it's really expensive, and all this. And I'm like, no, it's not. Uh, no, stop it, nose. Nose is itching. Uh, <laughs> stop. Uh, uh, uh. Stop it. Stop it. Uh. This is the worst part. Ah. I have to clean my panel today. Right. It has got some. It's got to have some boogers on it for sure. <laughs> Not really. It's just. It's just like leaking. That's all it does is leak. Oh God, die! This thing's a bullet sponge. Yo, we gotta follow. I mean, a, a, a raid. Adam Black with the Raider. What's going on, man? We come back. Don't call it a comeback. Okay, we're down to our final credit here. Power up. Take on this big old boss. Thanks for the raid, my man. Hopefully, you're doing all right tonight. I know you were. You were in the stream earlier. Bugger buttons. I know. Precisely why you're avoiding our case. Yo! Thank you. Yeah, I know. It's been it's been kind of rough. Like even when I go to like Galloping Ghosts and stuff, like I tend to be very cognizant of my hands. Adam, thank you, man. Thank you. You gotta be really cognizant of your hands. Like, you can't touch. It's like, I just don't wanna touch my face. <laughs> yeah, it's like, all my nose is doing is just straight up, just leaking. Ugh. I got another, like, two weeks of this. Like, a week and a half, maybe. If I'm lucky.
and the worst part is, is also like allergies are going on right now. So like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to determine if it's like, is this a part of the surgery or is this a part of, <laughs> or is that, al or is it allergies? And I also like don't want to go out sometimes because like I feel like I'm just gross, you know, I'm, like caring freaking, you know, especially right after COVID, you know, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to talk to the guy that has, like, you know, keeping a handful of uh, tissue in his pocket. <laughs> so I've just been staying home until it's done, you know? Oh, my God. Just die. Blow this up. My lord. <laughs> Even wearing clothes on for the too, too damn long? Well, yeah, because, like, you know, you're, you're picking up stuff. Oh, God. I know. I'm going to totally have to clean these buttons. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, that's the part of it, though. You know, like, how did we get along? How did we get so far as a human in, in a, as a human uh, human race without like you know getting getting severely sick at an arcade? I I almost want to say like in all the times I've been to arcades as a kid, you know, including working as at an arcade, like I never I never could say I've like picked up I could think I picked up something from there, but you know today's Today's super bucks. Things are different, I guess. You know? Oh, God. Yeah, and the worst part about all this is, like, trying to sleep with it. It's like every hour on the hour I have to, like, wake up to blow my nose. It's the worst. At least I can, like, start to breathe now, which is good, like. But for a good, like, a good week, I couldn't breathe out of my out of my nose at all. Like, I was so locked up. And there's, like, zero relief. This is killer. Oh, my God, those lasers. Power up, power up. Um. Ugh. Rough. We did get sick from the arcade. This wasn't an effing pandemic, yeah. Power up. Ah, I was hoping to slip in there. Oh, we got one more credit. We got one more credit. Yeah. I was just ripping through this game, man. Power up, bomber. Yeah, I li I like this game a lot. Like it's it's just blasting everything, and it feels like it's in that sweet spot of shmups in like the early '90s where like they were just right. You know, you got your desert level, you got your tank level, you got your train level, you got your big boss with like, you know, all the different pieces. I don't even know how in the hell I've never seen, I've never like, just played this. This is one of, oh, see, like a little race car. Now, now! I ran right into that dude. Damn shit. There's so many secrets. Power up. Bomber. I love that. It's just 
sounds so cool. Yeah, this game sounds great. Plays great. Um, I love these these weapon pods are like I, I think just add to the craziness of this game because like you can just go headlong right into the right into enemies. You know, you can see that those things are just so soaking up bullets. So then you start kind of like prioritizing like what's on screen. And it makes you think about like, okay, lasers gotta stay out of the way of those. Triple shots are fine. And you can really F yourself up if you're not paying attention, like you know, like I was doing with that first boss, that that big old plane that was just burning me. And I didn't see I didn't see the you know, I didn't see the flames. But my ship was absorbing everything else, so like you almost gotta kinda check yourself as you're going through everything. Great game. Great game. If you got it on Mister, if you got it on the Capcom collection, I know it, it, as we heard it was re uh, recently released on there. Ow! It's got you know, it's got shades of Garega. It's got shades of. It's got a lot of. It's got a lot of Raiden in it. Uh, it's just a. It's. Just a really cool game. The music is fantastic. Uh, yeah, the recharge. Yeah, the recharging bomb. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about. You don't have to really worry about crazy power ups or any bullshit. You just go. our train level. It's like you know you're gonna reuse you're gonna use another bomb, so you just use the one now. You'll get a fresh one in like what, a couple about a minute or two? Then you, then you see that big turret. <laughs> You're like, oh, my weapon bot's not going to stop that. Stay out of its way. There you go. Ah, yes, the flame shot. Okay. things out of the way. Now you can just kind of troll this stupid thing. Let's keep it right in front. It's the engine! Once again, my bombs have charged up. We're going to drop this off. Whoop woof! Whoop woof! See if we can get these big chunk out of the way. Whoop woof! Got an extra bomb. Drop that off. My God. Bombs recharged. Get that center thing out of the way. Here we go. Bomb. Whoa, boof. We got another bomb. Whoa, boof. Goodbye. Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, God. I think this is my last guy, too. Oh, God. Oh, no! That 
was a hell of an ending. That was a hell of a hell of a way to, to finish the game. Yeah, this game is scr straight up scramble. Awesome title. And it has ass protection too, you know? Yeah, really cool game. Varth. That was on the CPS one. Yeah. Always love yeah, the, the recharging bomb mechanic. This boss, you let it escape. Oh, so you, if you let this boss escape, it'll it'll give you a bad ending. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you I bet you you probably just gotta keep hammering away at it. Like as I was doing I was trying to focus on like those big dudes and like as soon as the bombs I had and I just wanted to shoot it right up the middle and then what got me of course was the bullets coming from behind like everything was coming forward and I'm like okay I can manage this I can stay I can stay in my lane and it's like okay take out these dudes all right I see these are starting to open up back up and then they started spraying and then my little pods were like soak that up and then sure enough you know Throw the bomb, throw the bomb forward, go, you know, see see the little flaps opening. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go over here. Boop, 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 you know, covered behind my, my weapon pots. But then, then, and then I saw the spray come from, from behind, and I'm like, that's it. There's no way. You you can't you can't block this stuff from behind, so you just got to deal with it or, or you die. Yeah. What a freaking cool game. Varth by uh, Capcom. Plus, we also saw that sweet, that sweet, uh, um, let's see here. We saw that real sweet uh, uh, Ryu. I thought that was kind of cool. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know that was a thing in this game. I didn't know Ryu was in this game. So it was kind of cool to, to see some of those little secrets, uh, especially in these titles. So in the future, um, we got some good stuff coming up. Let's see. So maybe this weekend there might be a fight night, depending if uh, people want to go online and stream. So that might be a thing. Possibly Friday not it's gonna be next tuesday we'll be back i am positive we'll have the blast city running uh for the rest of the cps1 coverage unfortunately like i said it's running it's just got a control problem it is so close from so i just gotta solve it um so as soon as this part comes in we'll have the uh the blast city solved or worst comes to worst we fire up the old vulix we have no problem get some nice two-player games yeah so next Tuesday, most likely, like I said, will be the CPS one, and then the following, uh, the Thursday right after that. So not just this Thursday, but next Thursday, uh, birthday stream. That's going to be always a really good one. We're going to do some, uh, also a visit to Galloping Ghost that Sunday, with special guest Guru Game Boy possibly on that following Sunday. So uh, those that do know about him, he does a lot of shmup chat and stuff. Uh, he'll be in town for um, some some music show or something like that. Um, so I told him, "Hey, come on, come on down. We're gonna go see some arcades and see some Chicagoland goodness, and uh, maybe get a stream in. So we'll see if we can fit that in uh, on the following Sunday. So it's gonna be very busy next couple of days. Um, so big thanks to everybody hanging out with me today. It has been a, been a fun stream. It is definitely towards the end of it, and I need to get moving." So we're going to see who's online, and we're going to be rating them, and we're going to be closing the show out because my nose is ready to break right now. I see old the Lick Arcade is new emo, Bram Stoke in it. We got the Drooby with the Elden Ring. We got some Super Smash Brothers. Uh, friends of Ringo Ishigawa. I don't know what in the hell is that, but I think... We're going to probably drop everybody at the old Lick Arcade because he is a great man. He's always really fun to watch and uh, super, super charismatic and uh, just overall good person. I know him in real in uh, in real life. Um, you know, we hung out a couple times when I was out there in business and uh, went out of my way to go visit the Lick, the Lick Arcade itself. And, uh, you know, the, the second time we went out there, we had we had beers and it's just a. Uh, him and his lady are just really wonderful people out all the way out in Pennsylvania. So I want to make sure we give them give them a good old welcome when we raid them, all right? 
big thanks to everybody for all of the subscriptions today. It's been subscriptions and follows. It was a real busy day today. Uh, we're getting close to 1,700. Um, not that I'm really keeping ca- you know count, but uh, we're only about it's 1691. So we're we're getting close to uh, 1700. Yeah, you know, like I'm not I'm not pushing myself real hard for everything. Of course, you didn't notice I didn't. I don't I don't beg for uh, we, we don't beg for bits or anything around here. But we do always beg for follows, and follows are good. You can always give us a follow. Uh, the show I do this show every single Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central, all the way from Chicago land of my little house. Really glad to have everybody here hanging out with us. And, of course, we have the Master Chunk, who has gone missing. I'd love to have him say goodbye. Uh, Crazy Swayze, take care. Thanks for streaming some sweet ash bumps. I'm pretty excited about it. Keep my head up. Hey, that's what we're doing. That's all we can do. And you guys keep your head up, too. Stay out of trouble. Hopefully, these you know we can get through. The, we're coming up on this holiday season. You know, the summer's kicking off. Uh Everybody stay out of trouble, man. It's been, it's already crazy out there, you know, especially Chicagoland. Everybody's losing their minds. We're all so, you know, we're so crapped up, you know, cramped in from COVID. We can't wait to get out and do stuff, right? So take it easy. Slow it down. We're going to be all right, okay? I love every each and every one of you, and stay tuned for the Lick Arcade. I am getting the hell out of here. Sucky Bis Cindy, Hater Shack, Crazy Swayze, BX Benny, Vorpal Andrew. Vote for Waifus, PM Collector Boy. Who else do I see in the chat real quick? Swizzer, Fish, Swizzle, Fish, BJ Adam, Black. Uh, who else do we got as we're going to keep going? EJ Mac, Dynamite, Dave Lister, all everybody. Hail John, hanging out. Lots of really awesome people hanging out with us. Venom Lace, seriously, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. All 1138, seriously, you, you folks always make coming back to this show a pleasure. And I'll continue this uh, as, I, as I keep showing up with new arcade boards and new experiences. That's what the show is about. Can't wait to hang out with you folks again. I love you lots. Stay tuned for Lick Arcade, and I'm out of here. Pandemicade closing down. Cheers, everybody.